All right. I think we're up and at him. Happy time zones, everybody. Happy Thursday. Good to see you all. Pleasure to be seen by you. Hope you and yours are doing well. Hope your week has been uh, progressing smoothly. Work, school, uh, sports, exotic dancing, whatever you do, man. Hope it's going well. Hope it's treating you right. Philly! What's up, big dog? Handsome Dan? Philbert, what's good, my man? How you guys doing? How was Thirsty Thursday? Hey, Pod, how are you, buddy? So, we've got, um... Yeah, we've got some bonding events to start with. We still have that one, Agnes and the Armis account. Oh, yeah. Never mind. We got this first. So we've got this. We've got Armis students with Agnes. Um, are we in the Albert district? No. Yes, we are. I'm sorry. So that's where this is. And then we have Van Tail district. For something else? I don't remember. Chill day at work. Really good to hear, man. Andalusia. Yeah, who had said it last night? This is where it all began. Yeah, we have the racing quest to, um... We still have to... Get some people that want to participate in said race. Another late evening because P5R sucking me in as usual. Man, this game is really long, though that's not a complaint. Yeah, Pod, it was a good time. It was a very good time. But uh, yes, as you said, very long time as well. Look at this trio, though. You know what I mean? Like... I would let them defend my honor, for sure. You know, I feel like this chivalrous thing to say would be like, I would defend their honor. I, like, respectfully, I don't think that they need defending. I, I would... I would offer to do so again, uh, uh, as a as a chivalrous, um, yeah, something to do. But I truly don't think that they would need it whatsoever. Yeah, Philly, this trio is to not be messed with whatsoever. Oh man, these pancakes are the shit. You really do know what you're talking about. You're right, it is good. The butter gives it such richness, and the flavor only deepens the longer I taste it. I'm glad you enjoyed them. They've been one of my favorites since I was a student. Though I'm nowhere near their biggest fan, I know someone who could probably talk at length about every... Wait, Van? When did you get here? Getting real cozy here talking about personal information. Guess you can be laid back sometimes when you want to, a rank bracer. That's one bunch of women that would kick some serious ass. Haven't seen you ladies since the after party. <clears throat> Leon and I split up. We're just looking around like you. I was almost done with my round when I bumped into these two. We got to talk a bit during the after party and stuff, so I said, why not take a break and chat a little? I'll be heading back to Crossbell after this. Hey, good evening, DC. How are you, man? Good to see you, broski. But I'm glad I was able to be here for the festival. I don't come home often, but I'm glad I did this time. It was worth it. Right. Nothing says you can't come again in a year. I would love to, but Ark and Seal keeps me so busy I might not be able to. I'll definitely keep it in mind, though. Ahem. <clears throat> While there's nothing wrong with keeping an eye on things, of course, you should maybe hold off on taking any strange jobs today. Yes, the last remnants of A were taken out as of three days ago, and it doesn't look like anyone else is on the move yet. But it doesn't hurt to be cautious. There will definitely be pushback, so this calm before the storm is time you should take to rest and recover. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Look at you still playing the part of good vice prez. Just like that time you drilled a lecture into my skull when you caught me skipping classes to come here. Why exactly are you making it look like it was my fault? That was entirely on you. 
And may I remind you, I was the student council president after the second year. You did a campaign speech for me. Not so much did as Renee dumped it on me last minute. Winged most of it, to be honest, but hey, it worked. You can't complain. Oh, can't complain? Especially about that part about me beating up those thugs and busting corrupt staff? That really helped my campaign. Do you have any idea how scared everyone was to approach me the year after my election? Okay, but that actually literally happened. And don't forget about getting flooded with fan mail after the fact. I'd say it prepared you real nice for your current job, huh? Like... They're adorable. It's like the epitome of a lover's quarrel. For real, man. Like, it really, really is. It's great, though. I love them. I absolutely love and adore them. DX, good evening, man. Mock, what's good? How are you? You! <laughs> they're so close. It's adorable. And they really... Are, they're really not going out? Apparently had the hot for each other back in the day, but not anymore. Don't know if I'd buy that crap. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Um, where else do... Oh, so we had something else here as well. Oh, up in the church? Is this recruitment, maybe? I don't remember. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just gotta say, the very beginning, like, the motif of that piano melody, it sounds real ominous. And it's got this real kind of, like, I don't know, scary movie kind of vibe going to it. Your Highness, pleasure to see you, buddy. I hope you're doing great. Hopefully the fam is doing well also, always. Just in case, bodyguard mode is on today. We're on the lookout for anyone suspicious. Leave guarding the professor to Fio and Seros. Can do. Hey everyone, keeping an eye on things? Yep, and I heard Professor Hamilton's come by. Hello there and happy Revolution Festival. Haven't seen you this past month. Hey there, old man. What are you doing here with the professor? Well, we're roughly the same age, after all. We've met before, here and there. Both the Great Spire and the Lotzu Bridge are the Professor's designs, after all. I'd heard about that. I still remember how the budget was so tight regarding the specs that it couldn't... It could make both workers and artisans weep. All the mirror in the world and you couldn't cut us some slack. You've quite the low opinion on Longport businessmen. Do remember, no expense was spared when it came to worker safety. As far as I'm concerned, it's the artisan's task to see a plan realized at a reasonable price. The professor's plan should not be an exception. I swear, just you wait till the high-speed orbital network expansion and the new Red Star factory are done. You won't have a single complaint oh, once those are done, and then I don't want to see you be so stingy with bonuses. Hmm, is that so? I'm very much looking forward to it now, I assure you. Huh, I heard people talk about them bickering. Guess that's how it's always been for them. The old man looks like he's having fun. Well, they're both largely responsible for the Republic's development. They might bicker like dogs, but they get along quite well. The Orbital Network continues growing, and the distance between people and the Republic continues to shrink with it. The entire continent will follow. Which brings us to the topic at hand in being the current state of the eastern part of the continent. I trust you understand what I mean, Jian or Gien. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> you really are not someone to be underestimated, Professor. Shall we move on to the main topic then? Gladly. This is about the decertification happening in Eastern Zemuria. Even the president's been getting involved. Your grand's one hell of a woman. Yeah, this shit's got to do with all of us. Even the old man can see that. Well, yeah, she's been an important figurehead for half a century. Hard trip, what's up, man? How are you, Hefe? Pleasure to see you. 
Again, looks pretty fit for an 80 plus year old. That's what I'm saying. All is well, thank you. Hope you're doing okay. Not too, too bad, dude. Tired day one of uni was to, oh, really? Youngblood had day two. He was a hot mess this morning. But he, uh, he had a great day, I guess. He straightened out like shortly after drop off. To get the option to get the ultimate weapon, talk to the chief once this talk is done. Oh, okay. Oh shit, that's right, for the ore, right? What is it? You need something from me? Yeah, I wanted you to check something out. And what would, mm, wrong voice, sorry. And what would that be? Ben showed them the onyx steel. Color me surprised. This is some real onyx steel. Quite a rare sight in the Republic. It's also known as star steel. It is a dangerously strong metal. Being quite honest, I've never had the chance to see some in person before. I thought if anyone might know about it, it would be either of you two, Professor, Supervisor. Even I've only seen it once before when I was younger. As I recall, only a precious few blacksmiths in the East were skilled enough to work with it. Looking at it, though, this isn't just one thing. It's a Zamerian ore alloy. Zamerian ore? That rings a bell. Aren't the Empire's Divine Knights made from that stuff? That they are. Incidentally, it was Albert who devised how to process Sumerian ore. Following that, uh, Gerhard established a means to process an alloy of it called Black Sumerian ore. All three disciples sure get around, huh? For their names to be spoken of even in relation to this, they're amazing. <laughs> that they are. They even managed to surprise me on occasion. This would be as hard to process, harder even, than Black Zemirian ore. I have, however, studied the professor's ore processing methods. Given enough time, I might be able to make it happen. I can't just, like, I can't get his voice pegged down again. Feel like because, like, I was off for such an extended period of time, I'm rusty. I can't, like, that's always been, like, my biggest complaint about myself. Like, when I try to do the voices, emulate the voices, uh, like, most of them, like, some, I feel like some I'm pretty consistent on, but others I get tripped up on and I can't, like, just keep it pegged down. It bugs me. Thoughts in between the ears. Frankly, it's a good opportunity to test my skills. If you want me to make a weapon out of it, I'll do it. No charge. Well, I ain't saying no to that. Thank you very much, Supervisor. Nothing to thank me for, lad. Full disclosure, making weapons with this amount is only going to be enough to arm a single person. The bigger issue is figuring out a good space to work on, er, to work. Maybe the workshop in Old Town? Doubt they'd turn me down if I said it was uh, for Chief Engineer Giscard. All right, then, I'll trust you. Once you've chosen who's getting what, come talk to me. Got it. Okay, so I'll just, I'll ask and you guys can tell me. Can you get more than one? Is that an option? Arcady, what's good, man? Out of fear, sheer hell now, so I'm looking forward to these classes. Good to hear. Monk, what's your uh, what's your major? Off for five days taking care of granddad and stuff? Right on, dude. There is, but I don't think you can unless New Game Plus. Oh, okay. It's possible, but you need to hit level five in one of the alignments. Oh. So will I be able to come back if I should so happen to hit level five in one of the alignments? Like, will I be able to come back and see him? Like, obviously, I know we're in the finale, so I don't know how long, like, how much longer we have to go, but. Play to find out. I mean, I'm kind of looking for a, a more definite answer. <laughs> that was like a legitimate question. I just want to know that I'll be able to come back if I should so happen to. Like, but again, I don't know where the story's going, so just want to know if I'll be able to like come back and actually like do it again. Otherwise, I would try to maybe get five, do the four SPGs first, and then come back. So make them right up to the final boss. Okay, cool, perfect. All right, whose weapon do you need me to work on? Um. Uh, could you make me a stun caliber? Yeah, leave this to me. Leave this to me. Van's group retrieved the equipment from Old Town and had Giscard work on their weapons. Yeah. All 
finished. Dawn Fang? Sounds badass. This is one hell of a weapon. Your skills are the real deal. No wonder you're the head of Basel's artisans. It's nothing special. Plenty of folks can make weapons like those. Anyways, if you pick up any more onyx steel, you let me know. If you're okay with me working on it, I'll always be glad to. Appreciate it, Supervisor. Hey, there we go. Dan, thank you for tipping me off about that, because I totally would have forgotten about it, too. Also, I missed this in my notes, but uh, Risha has some fun dialogue if you talk to her some more. Oh, okay, cool. Let's go back while we're still here. Um, Man. You, Matt, say. Very well. Um... Shines like the dawn. I mean, it just sounds badass, dude. <laughs> Hell yes. All right. So let's go back out, hang a right. Um. over this way because then and I don't remember no 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 it is I don't recall I don't recall change crafts what what do you mean by change crafts oh check crafts I just can't read never mind it's like oh that's a new one <laughs> Change crafts, huh? All right, don't mind if I do. What's up, Gaul? Didn't end up with the final weapons myself. Uh, was a rip. It's all good, dude. New game plus it if you want to. But I know that you were saying that you were you were pretty much over it. Oh, come to think of it, Ilya and Sully said they wanted some pictures of the capital. I'd love it if they could also see the place where I was born and raised. Him too. Hmm, maybe I'll take care of that and then go for a nice walk. Him too. Lloyd? My guy Barrier Bannings? Hmm? Hmm? Perhaps. Him too. Him too. Um, so if we're good here... Yeah, hold on. I don't remember... How do I check what my alignment is? I don't think it's not in status, is it? Nah. Oh, it's over here, right? Yeah, there we go. We're close-ish to f five on law. Yeah, close-ish, I guess. Double A rank, that feels pretty good. Okay, so that... On my way. Do you have any preference? Thanks for coming in. We'll see how the next two quests go. Yeah, I'll have to. I mean, I'm still just going to go with my gut, but, you know, it'd be nice to be able to get five, I suppose. This is an assault frame. This is an assault frame. Euro? Buy something? Shit, man. Knockout grill? I mean, I've already got. Like, we're already good. See you again but I'm also broke, so. Ah! Oh, shit, dude. I was gonna say Maxim? Yeah, like, why wouldn't he? See, now I like this. I like this quite a bit, seeing them all. That alignment chart looks awfully familiar. Why, were you, like, roughly the same, Hefe? Oh, hey, guys! Hey there, you two. Having fun with old champ? Uh, yeah. I invited him a while back. Thanks, Paulette. I really appreciate it. I... Please, think nothing of it. And besides, I have motives of my own. Yeah, what's that supposed to mean? Alimony? <laughs> Maybe. Did I forgive Maxim? No, but that's not my decision to make. It's, um, in my opinion, it's that's totally up to, to Paulette. 
I think, and I, I think I had said that in the moment. I, it, 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 that would be a decision that would be left up to Paulette. Paulette want him in not only her life, but Yume's life. That's, that's totally up to her. That's a decision that she would have to make. So. I most certainly would not, no. God, no. I wouldn't forgive him, personally. No. What? Oh. Yeah, again. Uh oh. Can I get some ice cream? And I want to get some popcorn and yaki soba with mommy too. I want to know which is yummier. But right now I want to play tag. You're it, Maxim. Whoa, slow down there. I uh, today I was thinking, you don't want to play with me? Aw. Maxim I was thinking maybe we could take a nice drive around the city. I wanted to visit Tryon Tower too and have a nice dinner to ourselves tonight. Was hoping I could talk to Paul out about some stuff, mainly, but yeah, nuts to that. You want a race? You got one. I'ma get you, you little rascal. Yay! <laughs> Catch me if you can. That's a good moment. That's that's a good moment that makes my heart feel good. Just that little interaction between him and Yumes. Uh, it warms my heart. Oh, would you look at that? Playboy fancies himself a family man. So you accepted his invitation for Yume's sake? Or no, was it something about him specifically? Good question. To be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure. What I want is for him to get a clear look at who I am today. Once he has... Once he has present me in his head and moves on from past me, then we can talk. I see. Feels like she's overthinking this whole makeup thing, but eh, not my business. After touring the stands with Yume for a while, the team went back on the job. Okay, we've combed the entire city pretty thoroughly, and the only thing out of place was the number of weirdos around. Can't be too careful, I guess. Might be worth doing another sweep of the city in the car just to be safe. I should do that once I've taken care of all the four SPGs and other stuff on our plate. To advance the main story, select finish walking around from the travel menu. Okay, but yeah, we have to recruit. Yeah. All oh, right, those street racers asked me to scout some people. I know a guy who could help with that. But he looks like he's having a grand old time over here. Do I bug him? Uh, yeah. What's up? Kind of freaking me out with that stare of yours. Don't tell me I did something wrong. I do one of the, uh... I do one of those, what's it, faux pas? Stop looking at me like that. You could have just told me, man. Paulette already has enough reasons to hate my guts. Hey, hey, hold your horses, champ. Just wanted to ask you about something. Favor, actually. Mind if I borrow for a bit, Paulette? It's for a job. Oh, by all means. You've got work stuff? Okay. Okay, so these guys wrote me into a street race. The thought that might be up your alley too. But I know you're having fun with your family and I get pros fooling around is unsanctioned. Uh, hold on. And I get pros fooling around in unsanctioned street races ain't a good look. Bit of a shot in the dark here, but I figured I'd at least ask. That pique your interest at all? A street race, huh? Hmm. If I did that, I might attract the attention of some scoop loving ink slingers again. Yeah, what the heck? Count me in. Cool, but uh, surprised you said yes. What about the kid? Heh, <laughs> I thought you of all people might have guessed. I've got a score to settle with you. You beat me once, but I'm not the kind of guy to take a loss lying down. And the reporters? Thinking about it, they've got bigger things to cover than me. Any journo worth their salt is going to be at the festival. Besides, maybe Paulette needs a break from me, just for a little bit. Wouldn't hurt to give her a moment to herself. Is that right? Hmm, fine by me. You want to go again? I'll give you another dust cloud to dine on. Don't actually know what kind of race it is, though. Well, whatever it is, I'm looking forward to it. I'll head over later and we can meet back up there. You got it. Well, I've hit up everyone I can think of. Guess all that's left is a loop back with the racers. When Van said, do another sweep of the city, after I had spent hours talking to everyone, I died inside, but then the car saved me. <laughs> Died a little on the inside. Or a lot of biddle. A lot of biddle. Um, we'll do this first. We'll go back to the Anyas. We'll do the... Let's we'll do, do our this. We'll do our bonding events. I've always loved the 
Crimson, what's up, man? Maxim knows no restraint. I must race. Lots of racing. I've come here to laugh at you. All right, cool. Now let's do what we're going to do. Nah, got nothing. Let's get going. Ben and everyone else hopped in their vehicles and headed towards the meeting spot. Vroom, vroom. Oh, all together already, huh? We've been waiting for you. I see the delivery girl is with you too, eh? The weather and wind direction are sublime, perfect for a race. So let's settle the score once and for all. Huh, what a fascinating group of people. This should be good fun. Thanks for hitting me up. Who's this pitiful looking old fellow? He doesn't seem like he would make for much competition. Well, sorry for being pitiful and old. I might not be as good as Van, but I still know a thing or two about cars. And the little lady's gonna chew me out if I report back and I lost. So I'll just have to give this my best shot. Thanks for coming, you three. Heh, <laughs> nice group we got here. My name's Graham and I'm the one who proposed this little race. And this here's my buddy, Unifer. Lucio and Damien here are part of a team called the High Bloods. Thanks for coming together today. I put a lot of thought into how to make this ba uh, best race, make this the best race possible. So hope you get hyped for it. I'm Lucio, the leader of the High Bloods. I came here all the way from Arasion. Consider it an honor that you get to compete with those of us from chosen lineages. Huh? Wait, is it just me or have I seen that dude before? Uh, ahem, I'm sure I must just have one of those faces. Or, you know, the fact that you have your name on your t-shirt, or your, you know, your V-cut, whatever that is. You know, okay. You can, uh, you can call me Max. Wait a damn second, you never told me a pro racer would be participating. And not just any pro racer, we're talking about Maxim freaking Lugan. What did you do to get him involved? Let's just say we have an unexpected connection. <laughs> You're something else, fan. Max, eh? That's not even subtle, but probably better to keep my mouth shut. Yeah, I know the sound of that engine. Whoa! Let's fucking go, dude. <laughs> Sup, Arkride? Didn't mean to keep you waiting. Seriously, nobody asked you to be here, so why are you here? Because I heard about some good shit going down, obviously. I'm kinda hurt you'd throw a fun event like this without me. Wow, this guy seems tough. Oh, he is. This group's getting more ridiculous by the minute. Ha <laughs> ha! This should be a bigger deal with all these monsters we got together last minute. Talk about a lineup. Um, so can I assume you'll be participating as well? Yeah, you brats better make it worth my while. Ahem. <clears throat> Anyways, let's get down to the rules. We're going to be pulling out into the expressway for some high-speed, unrestricted races. Prize for the winner is the experience of getting to drive like a damn psycho. Loser gets a, a special punishment. Now we'll be splitting you all into two teams. Not really sure how to go about splitting us up, really. But I do know we want to compete against the High Bloods. I got an idea then. What if we spread the rest of the participants across both teams? They can join either the Street Racer team or the High Bloods as temps. True enough. And then in terms of numbers, three should join the High Bloods. Five versus five, which means we'll be doing five one-on-one -on -one races. So we'll be joining the High Bloods. Hmm, well, what side do you plan on joining? I'm contracted with the Street Racers, so I'll be joining them. Then it's the same for me. Not that I would have minded racing Van. Huh, good to have you both on the team. Then I'll be joining the High Bloods. Sorry, but I've been meaning to settle the score between us. I don't care either way. Lots of interesting folks here. Likewise. Same here. Although, of all the people here, respectfully, um, Jack kind of feels like odd man out. <laughs> Xavier Worthy may be Tyree Kill. Good. That's that's fine by me. I, I, I have Mahomes going tonight. And Kelsey, obviously. Uh, now, before we begin, I want you to know that Jeff somehow got every option wrong. Cool, then. Him and I still continue to be kindred spirits, because... Uh, what was that? Dude, 
I feel like it was one of like the car related quests where I literally no it wasn't it was the the professor that I got literally every single one wrong just guessing <laughs> until the very last one sounds to me like this should be uh be decided at random oh ready for anything huh using the lottery system unifer brought with her each individual then pulled to see what team they would be on hmm that settles it then so our street racers teams got van aaron hermes and then me and unifer <clears throat> as for we high bloods is it just me or are we loaded with sketchy old farts Keep working that jaw if you don't enjoy living, kiddo. <laughs> Keep working that jaw. You know, if there's someone in particular you'd prefer racing with, we don't mind. As for the order of the races, I'll be deciding those at random. <clears throat> First up is Aaron versus Damien. Second is Graham versus Jack. Next will be Hermes versus Walter. I think I'm most intrigued. My interest is most peaked between those two. I'd love to see that one. Well, I guess we will get to see it, hopefully. And then it's the fourth race, me versus Lucio. This one I had to make happen. I'm just so over being on the losing end of things. Hmm, fine, count me. Uh, come at me then, young lady. I'll leave you in the dust. Hmm, that's my line. Graham, you know what to do. You got it, I was just thinking that this would be perfect. Ahem. <clears throat> Anyways, that makes the final race between Van and Max. Good luck to the both of you. Time to show you what it means to be a pro. Still, let's make this a good one. Oh, it'll be good, all right. I've modded my truck quite a bit since our last race, so you'll see what she's about soon. You'll be in for one hell of a surprise. Thought I got them all correct. The game just thought I was wrong. Yeah, that happens from time to time. It's pretty much how I've rolled through life. I go, I'm pretty sure I'm right. And then people are like, you're wrong. I go, I mean, like, that's cool. Like, that's, that's your opinion, I guess, you know. I don't remember. I think I got them all first try. Might have missed one. All right. Well, we'll just continue the trend of I'll ask so I don't have to save scum. And so the fierce battle between bike and car lovers alike began, their pride fiercely on the line. It wasn't long before they were on the expressway with the first racers lining up to begin a race for the ages. Hey, you were one of the guys who were riding recklessly in Edith a while back, yeah? Huh, this could be fun. This isn't a freaking game, you know. It's an epic showdown between full-fledged racers. I heard that isn't even your bike. If you want a real orbital bike rider, then why the hell do you even here? Oh, wait a minute. Is that Bear Guards? I think it is. I just get a kick out of picking fights. I live to humiliate idiots like you. All right, time to punch it. Hey, Krog, good to see you, man. Ha <laughs> ha. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get. Oh, you're on. What the hell is he doing? That's my master's bike, you asshole. We really should have seen that one coming. Boys will be boys. We can fix her up after the race, so don't worry. How have you not lost your balance? You should be veering off the side of the road. I can do this shit all day. Don't tell me that you're ready to call it quits already. Hell no, I'm gonna win this. See, never loser. All right, what's the play? Um, I'm gonna guess, I don't know. I feel compelled. Like, I feel like I wanna say turn to trickery. Is it really a trick? Yo, let's go. Turn to trickery. Just, I don't know. It's something, something about that. Those three words just kind of roll off the tongue in this, in this instance. Turn to trickery. Time to turn the tables. Yo! Ha! Really? That's badass, dude. <laughs> that was sick. Whoa. Holy hell, that guy's nuts! Aw, oh, yeah, this one's in the bag. That dumbass. <laughs> that was sick, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> the second race was between Graham and Jack. Graham decided to trade cards with Unifer for the race. 
As such, it was a battle between Sedan from Red Star and Lino. The specs between the two vehicles were nearly the same, and both drivers were at similar skill levels. At first, they were neck and neck, but Jack gradually widened the gap between them, driving almost as if he could predict the future. By the time Jack crossed the finish line, he was significantly in the lead. After that, it was time for the third race to begin. <sighs> Hell yeah! Now it's my time to shine! You better not make this too easy for me, woman! Wouldn't dream of it. I can tell you're no ordinary racer, so I trust that you know how to put a bike through its paces. Ha! You got that right! Out of the way! Sorry, coming through! I'm getting a headache just looking at that guy. Can't relate. Keep my eyes peeled in case he gets sick of the traffic and starts smashing cars. Oh, please, there's no way he's strong enough to do that. Right? Nice job keeping pace, but the real match starts here. Try not to eat pavement on this turn. How about you try not to eat my dust? Um... Accelerate suddenly? Go zoom quickly. All right, feels good. Thank you very much, Dan. Eris, what's up, buddy? Man, she's jacking up the speed before the go. Oh, never mind. Now hammer it out of the corner. Fucking punch it. Zoomies. She sped up there? Lady's got one crazy sense of balance, doesn't she? I hate the auto-advancing text, but I get why they have to do it. It bugs me. So I'm not going to try and speed read it. Bah, lost by the skin of my teeth. Phew, that was a close one. Quick zoomies. Love it. That was a kick-ass race. No kidding. Watch that makes me want to get behind the wheel and go grinding again. Or go riding again. You're up, Unifer. Go on out there and show them who's boss. Will do. Next up was a fateful confrontation between Unifer and Lucio. Unifer borrowed Graham's Ingert sports car for the race. Meanwhile, Lucio drove a top of the line Etoise race car. Aaron would go grinding. Oh, he definitely would. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he would go grinding again for sure. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of Aaron either, but I can see the appeal at least. I, I love Aaron. And I just, I love his interactions between Van. Well, like the rest of the group as well, but what really solidified it for me, like that bromance just between them, you know? I dig it. Its higher top speed gave Lucio the advantage. However, Unifer, who knew her vehicle's quirks like the back of her hand, was hot on his tail the whole way through. In the end, Lucio's nerves got the better of him, and he fumbled a corner at the last stretch of the race, giving Unifer a well-deserved victory. Thus, it was time for the fifth and final race to begin. Soccer Mom versus... Now, well, can't really call him a deadbeat dad now. He's, he's trying, so I respect it. If you think I'm going to go easy on you just because I owe you one, think again. Now's my chance to give you a taste of my revenge. Maxim may be a complete buffoon, but he's still a racing champion. If I don't pull out all the stops, I'm going to lose. Now then, let the rematch of the century begin. Why is he letting me get ahead? Does he want to see what my girl can do? Well, I'll gladly show him. Time to bust out my secret weapon. Gotta admit, the way he handled that pickup truck is impressive. I'll bet 5,000 Mira he'll use that turbocharger next. But I'm going to stop that plane in its tracks. It's gonna hit him with an EMP. Damn it! It's gonna be like Fast and Furious 2. It's just gonna like shoot the side of the car with an EMP. Something or other. I know what your car is capable of now. The element of surprise isn't on your side anymore. Guess I'll just have to make a risky play. Drive out to Maxim's left or his right? I mean, those bolts out. I mean, I'm I'm gonna say left. It really is the left? Yo, let's go. So out of the three so far, I would have gotten one wrong, which feels pretty good. Ha! Ah! Punch it. I, is he insane? off is pretty damn fun, you should give it a try.
Hell yeah. Yeah. Don't think you've won. He did it. Van won. <laughs> he might be on the other team, but even I feel like standing up and clapping for him. Van's insane. Who knew he was such a skilled driver? My guy, thank you for the assist. Ooh, yeah, that was pretty crazy, but there were some real, na uh, some real nail biters. What's up, Beatrice? We still on Revolution Anniversary Day side content? Sure are. We've got this. We've got Anya's um, in the Armis Kids side quest. And then we have our bonding events to do. And then we're, we're, uh, we'll be advancing the story. I think that's, I think that's all we have left currently. Ooh, yeah, it's pretty crazy, but there were some real nail biters. Tell me about it. That was the craziest race I've had since becoming a street racer. Both teams did amazing, but a winner is a winner. And this time, the winners are the street racers. <laughs> Good work, guys. It's too bad I lost, but I was still blown away by the driving I saw out there. What can I say? It feels good to win. Yeah, it's a rush to give it just everything you got. I honestly didn't expect this to be as satisfying as it was. It almost feels like I've gotten even better thanks to this. Ugh, we lost the high bloods. Damn it. How could this have happened? We couldn't ask for a better race, and you're telling me it's already over? Huh? But I suppose I'd have to agree. So long as you gave it your all, then it is what it is. Losing would normally piss me off a little, but I don't know. I feel weirdly cool about it. I don't give a shit about the team. I just ain't happy about losing my race. Hope you're ready, rider chick. You too, are cried. Hm, hey, welcome to challenge. Careful, Hermes. This asshole doesn't lay off once he's locked on. Yeah? Well, right back at you. You pulled out all the stops for that one, huh? If you ever went pro, you might even make for a decent rival. Well, thanks. Young? Give me a hell yeah! What? My guy. What? What? Um... Bugging me, bug bugging me, and now that's all messed up. Now we're good. Now we're good, yeah. Your handling is just as incredible as I heard. Now then, it's time for your punishment. I'm gonna get things ready, so give me just a second. It's like the end of an episode of Impractical Jokers. Is this tea? It smells kind of like medicine. Yep, it's a medicinal tea sold in Longport. It's supposed to be super bitter, but don't worry, it's not bad for you. No point in delaying the inevitable. Time to accept our fate and drink up. Ugh, I just know this is going to taste awful. All members of the losing team steeled the resolve and drank the tea. Ugh! Is this really good for you? I can't believe humans were meant to drink this at will. And it stinks too. It smells like weeds. No, I think I'm gonna blow chunks. I've tried some gross things for my health before, but this here takes the cake. You know, the more you drink, the better it tastes. Heh. <laughs> you brats are too young to savor this kind of flavor. Oh, come on, you're boring me to tears. At least give us some kind of reaction. Uh, I bet we'd get a great reaction if you gave it a sip. Like hell, I'm trying this crap. And so the races surrounding the street racers' pride came to an end. Both parties reflected deeply on the intense battles that took place on the road before returning to where they belonged. That's a wrap. <laughs> Love to see it. That has to be like chaos, right? Oh, some law. Fuck. All right, so that one's done. All right, so we have to go back here, anywho. Off we go. Because we have to put Agnes in the party. Um, change party. Agnes. Then we'll go back to Tyrell District. And it was... Yeah, they're at the cafe, weren't they? Off we go. I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Yeah, they sure were. Okay, cool. Welcome. Thank you for coming. 
shit, bro. We await your next visit. All right, very cool. Cinnamon milk cocoa sounds amazing. <laughs> I feel like Walter just loses more aura every time he shows up. I mean, dude, the first time we see him again since... Crossbell? He literally throws a fucking vehicle. So, I mean... From... I'm like, I'm personally gonna say that he solidified his aura just with that, so... <laughs> like, that alone is really good. Hey, where's Anya's? Uh, is it CJ? Mm, CJ or KJ? Nah, it's, is it CJ? Mm, whatever it is. Sorry for butchering it if I did. Thank you very much for the follow, bud. Welcome to Britopia. Pleasure to meet you. Thanks for being here with us. Now to figure out which shops we ought to visit first. Let me think. Off the top of my head, there are two spots in Tyrell we should hit up. Beyond that, Old Town, Station Street, and Bear each have an outlet also worth visiting, so five places total. Great. I knew you'd have no problem coming up with places to check. I can't wait to see that amazing stuff you bring back to us. What she said. Good luck, I guess. Hey, Grumpy. Pride of Kuro. Walter wasn't in Crossbell? No, see, I thought he was. Maybe he wasn't. Whatever. You guys know my brain is shit, so here we are. What's new? Thanks, Albert. See you guys soon. Time to start working. Could have sworn we saw him in Crossbell, but then again, like I said, brain garbaggio. Grumpy, tomorrow is Friday. How are we feeling? Well, I guess if we're already here. Um, CJ, okay. Watching your Trails playthrough for years now. Love your LPs. Thank you very much, man. Never really got to the point. I try to visit Twitch streams, so hello. Hey, man. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it a great deal. Thank you very much for the kind words. Thank you very, very much for that. It's glad to have you here live, man. And like, it's like having having the ability to just be able to like talk back and forth and comments on YouTube too is is great, man. You know, it's it's not in like in the midst of a live stream. It's not in real time, but you know, it's it's another avenue that we get to like touch base and shoot the shit, man. So, you know, thank you very much. Um, well, oh, you gotta go Monday, dude. I'm telling you. You got explosive diarrhea. Just let them know. Walk in wearing a pair of Depends, dude. You beg. Look, I went to Chipotle last Tuesday, and I have had the shits ever since. They're going to be like, maybe you shouldn't be here. Let me ask you something. Hi, we're here to get food. Give us food. That's all we're here for. Do it right in the middle of the courthouse. Uh oh, let yeah, loud wet fart noises. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, just like the more audibly displeasing to people, the better it would be. For sure. <laughs> like Jesus, you sound like Melissa McCartney or Melissa McCarthy and bridesmaids. <laughs> Can we talk? Hi. Yeah, you got some foods. I'm I'm loving Daybreak. There are there are bits pacing wise that I have issues with. Um and it's more so like the like and obviously it makes me sound like a total douche nozzle, hypocrite if you will, because I too sometimes don't shut the fuck up and just play. But there are some of the side quests that are just way too wordy for my liking. Um I feel like it just kind of ruins my momentum in the story. And then, like, Trails Tradition, y you go, like, peaks and valleys. You go, like, holy shit, and then you come back down to Earth, and it's like, all right, let's go do a handful of side quests. And things are real tame, and then it ramps back up again and then comes back down, which, again, I know it can't just be at a 10 all the time, but, you know, there, there's, there's just certain points where it's like, no, like, keep going. Like, I just want more story, you know? I was sick when I saw that scene, so I laughed so hard to throw. Oh, little little bubble guts, Dan. Oof, duh. No good. Hi, whatever you got, just give us the food. That's all that we're doing. Popcorn, huh? Oh, that's popcorn, huh? Then let's head over. 
If it was at 10 all the time, you'd be bored because it was the same and you'd need to get it to cranked up to 12. Okay, so here's, here's a counter to that, Grumpy. If it was just at 10 all the time and then they cranked it up to 12, like if that was the difference between our peaks and valleys, I'm good with it. Let's do that. <laughs> yes. Come back soon. Yeah, CJ, for sure. And like, look, I'm I'm all about helping out Yumes for sure. Something to you or what? Let me ask you something. Oblong, my main complaint is that it uses the same pacing in each game. You always know when it's going to be two, and then it, when it's going to be to ten. Yeah, like they they do a great job of letting you know it's going to build up to ten for sure. <clears throat> I don't know if I would say personally that it's every game. But, that, but that's just me. I know everybody's playthrough is going to differ. 12 will be the world explodes when they find a way to fix it every chapter for six chapters. All right, man. Like, I mean, let's go. <laughs> let's save the world. <laughs> save the world. You guys buying something too or what? What's I mean, be? maybe I will. Huh. I mean, I'm already at max level, but you know. <clears throat> um, cafe, Off I would go. wager. Probably gonna be wrong, but nope. I'm going back outside, dudes. So convenient nowadays. Oh. I'm proud of all my ways. It's been a pleasure. Sure has. Can we talk? <clears throat> I will say though, and I know I had I had said it before, and I know we're still not even done yet, but this probably this is right up there with zero for me in terms of like my favorite start to an arc. I guess we're gonna see how how this all plays out at the end but yeah it's like it's been a it's been a great start to an arc then let's head over and it could just be recency bias but i'm real real partial to this cast like crossbell has my heart and soul forever so does liberal don't get me wrong erebonia great time but this cast has just been super duper refreshing and again maybe like i said it's recency bias because we had the same cast for so long in Cold Steel, then Reverie, which again, it's nothing against them, but the, the way that these characters are portrayed, the way they, just the dialogue in itself has just been really, really good, I guess. I mean, the dialogue in all the games has been great for the most part, but like, I don't, there's something about Daybreak that's just been really, really refreshing. I'm just gonna keep reiterating the same word over and over again. You again. Can we talk? When you have pretty much the same cast for seven games, refreshing is definitely the key word here. Yeah. <clears throat> and like, I know it's been a discussion for sure. Um, but thematically, it just seems more mature here in Daybreak. Our main character, much older. He's an old fart by, by anime standards. Um, so I've, I've really enjoyed how, again, like the dialogue and how the story's played out. Just the, just the general overall feel has been really refreshing. Odette, what you got? I got all your sweets, all your goodies, whatever you want. Just want to finish this up already. Sorry, not sorry. All in a day's work. Mira deposit confirmed. Dude, eight thousand bucks for scooping up pastries? Golly. Oof. Completed all quests. Oh, that's all of them? 
Hot damn. Well, we didn't get rank five, so that stinks, but that's okay. So that's all the quests, which means we're we're full speed ahead on story. Feels good. Bye, Zay. Sarah, what's good, fam? Love to see them do an older Fem C Pro tag after Calvert Arc. Dude, if they wanted to give me a lane as Fem main character, I'm on board. Hell, even Celise. I'll take Celise right now, and I know fucking zero about her. But if I could get if I could get Elaine as a main character, I'm on board. Shizuna as well, for sure. If, you know, 20 years in their world down the road, Jingo becomes this fucking Rambo. Well, I mean, she's already pretty much Rambo-esque. But if they wanted to have Jingo main, I'd be down. You can, or you just focus on... Okay. I think what took the sails out of my wind... Uh, the wind out of your sails here is that thematically it's mature, but we have Fairy as a party member. Trails makes great child cast, and I don't hate her, mind you. It just feels out of place most of the time, but that's just me. Yeah, man. Different strokes for different folks. I hear you. I feel like what she lacks in... Uh, like, the, I, I, just, I always make this kind of like one or the other comparison like book smarts street smarts i feel like she has street smarts up the fucking wazoo you know what i mean she's a child of war she's a bad ass motherfucker no doubt about it but yeah dude she's she's a 13 year old kid she's she's a child soldier We also have a 15-year-old and a 16-year-old. Yeah, but a 15-year-old and a 16-year-old can drive. I guess Fairy could probably drive too. But again, like, I just... That's that's how I think of Fairy, personally. She's got a ton of street smarts, and she just doesn't have, like, the... Not, like, I guess the book smarts, or... You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't I don't know how else to describe it. That's That's what I go with. You can get five in one of the three uh, on the first playthrough, and it's possible to get five in both gray and chaos in one playthrough if you basically never pick the law choices. Ugh. Oh, CJ, her dialogue is adorable. It is so goddamn funny, and I love it. Um, so now... Okay, no, so before we do that, now we have... Uh, yeet. So we have... Five to do. Yep, now we got bonding. Let's rock and roll. Also didn't get any level five on my playthrough. It's all good, dog. Start with peak. Okay. <laughs> peak it is. Van's group decided to take a short break. Everyone split up so they could spend their free time as they pleased. <sighs> there you are. You both, you're both awfully early. <laughs> we hopped on an early train because we really wanted to see you. These are the siblings you meant, right? Or you met, right? Yes, they're the ones who were abducted in that case last year. September of last year. That was when you took down a criminal group that was working for Almada, yeah? That's right. It was the case that led me to accepting my promotion to A rank. I didn't realize you knew about the incident. Bramati told me about it all about, or told me all about it. it. Sounded like it was a rough ordeal. You can say that again. The two children survived, but they were left traumatized by what happened. They've been receiving care in a facility outside the city ever since, but they're coming to the capital for the Revolution Festival. I was told they really wanted to see me, so I agreed to look after them for half a day. No wonder you came running to me for advice. Hey, it's not as though I'm bad at dealing with children. I just don't know how to keep them entertained. Yeah, you don't exactly strike me as the fun-loving babysitter type. I thought your bracer work would have forced you to learn all the good spots in town, but I guess not. Yes, yes, rub it in. Do you know any places they might enjoy? You're the expert in slacking off, so I thought you would know. <laughs> that was great. Um, 
Only you would ask for help and toss an insult my way in the same breath. Just so we're clear, I might know a few good places, but they won't necessarily be fun for kids. That okay with you? Yes, that's perfectly fine, thank you. I also need you to know I also need to know where to find some good quality sweets. Huh. Well, you've come to the right person then. I'll map out a route, uh, a route that'll take you to every under underrated sweets shop in the capital. I don't think that's necessary. Would you like the cost-effective tour or the no, no expensive spareds premium route? Actually, I have just the thing for you. A special seasonal route that'll take you to all the best sweet shops and tourist spots in the city. You can leave all your gourmet needs to me. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, I think she can take this from here. We aren't interrupting your date, are we? You don't need to worry about that, kiddo. I just came here to make sure she got here okay. That's good. I did think you looked a little old for her, but I was worried we spoiled your fun by coming early. Hang on a sec. You got it all wrong. The two of us are the same age. What? Really? Never would have guessed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can hardly blame you. He could easily pass as a 30-something-year-old. Oh, so this is the thanks I get. I see how it is. Come on, say hello. Is she mute? Unfortunately, yes, she lost the ability to speak after what she went through. It doesn't look like she's recovered. Try not to excite or upset her too much. Van gave the girl some candy. Yeah, the girl's just like, who's this stranger giving me candy? This is my way of saying hi. I'm a big fan of that brand. I know you'll be headed back home tonight, but I hope you have loads of fun till then. Festivals are a blast, so enjoy it. Huh? Do you want him to join us? Would you be okay with that, Van? Alright, it's not like I have any urgent business to take care of. Helping you plan the route got me in the mood to stuff my face with sweets anyway. Just don't go spoiling them, okay? I know, I know. Well, you kiddos ready to get going? Yep! Van and Elaine led the two children on a tour of the festival. They brought them to many of Edith's best sweet stores and tourist spots. To Van and Elaine's delight, the children were enjoying themselves immensely, and they could feel the two of them opening up little by little. Eventually, they set off for Old Town, their final stop on the tour. So next up is Old Town, right? What do we find there? Oh, just the perfect place to end our tour, that's all. Long as you don't let the chef's face spook you, at least. I assume you mean Monmar? I'll look forward to that. Huh? Ah, crap. This happens from time to time. Lights down here haven't been replaced in a while. The both of you are unharmed re Don't worry, it's okay. No one's here to hurt you. Is this what I think it is? She, she still gets like this whenever she's in dark, cramped places. It must remind her of where we are trapped. Sorry, I don't think she's going to be able to move anytime soon. I shouldn't be surprised her emotional scars run so deep. Can I do anything to help her? Anything at all? Upsy daisy. Van lifted the girl up onto his shoulders. Huh? Van, what are you? Let's get out of here. And here we are. Okay, you can open your eyes now. Good one, man. Looks to be a little misty, dude. It's good. It's really good. <clears throat> what do you think? Pretty sweet view, huh? You can even see Tryon Tower from here. We're on the roof of where I live. 
Area is not the best tourist spot in town, but I like it just the same. Pretty roomy and bright, right? If any weirdos come knocking, you'll see them from a selge away. And if push comes to shove, I'm sure she'll be more than happy to cut down anyone to size. You've got nothing to worry about here, I promise. <sighs> I'd appreciate it if you didn't make me look like a bloodthirsty savage. It's really nice here. Agreed. Might be a little old and musty, but other than that, it ain't too shabby. All right, now that you've seen this, let's head back down to the bistro on the ground floor. They'll make some pretty mean, they make some pretty mean desserts. I'm sure you'll love. I know I do. Afterwards, they capped off their day with a light lunch and dessert at Monmar. Once they finished eating, they all made their way back to Central Station, as it was time for the kids' mothers to pick, uh, mother to pick them up. Thank you both so much. We had a ton of fun. I hope we'll see you both again someday. As do I. Take care of yourselves, you two. You're both welcome here anytime. Mm, what's up? You forget something? Thank you. Bye-bye. Van? Yeah, I know. Hey, why are you turning on the waterworks? I'm just so happy. Gotcha. Well, I think this is proof that everyone's efforts weren't for nothing. They were they recovered because of the rehab, their family's love and care, and what you just did for them. What we just did for them, you mean? I don't want, I don't want to wait till the end of the series or I don't want to wait till the end of this arc for them to get married. I want them to do it immediately. Like, I want them to get married now. Thank you for everything today, Van. Nah, I don't deserve it. You did all the heavy lifting. But if you insist on letting me share the credit, We'll just say you owe me one now. Always, uh, always happy to put an A-rank bracer in my debt. You really are unbelievable, you know that? But while you can be frustrating sometimes, I'm glad you're part of my life. We both have our flaws, but I think we compensate for each other's quite nicely. There's nothing we can't handle when we're together, and that's especially true when Renee's with us. We also have your assistance at our side, too. Yeah, you're right. Van bid Elaine farewell, and he returned to his work. I hope we can go back to how things once were. Never mind. Yes! Pretend you didn't hear that. God damn. They are so fucking peak, man. Absolutely love them. So friggin' good, man. Yeah, dude, I'm down for a shotgun wedding. Let's just go to the courthouse and get hitched right now. Don't let anybody know. Will know they won't. Thank you for watching. Those kids were from the daydream in in Reverie. Hefe, very wholesome dude. Loved it. The kids Elaine saved. Okay. I vaguely, vaguely remember it. Um. Okay, so we got four more to do. Well, oh, let's walk it up the line then. One of them tried to stab her. That part I don't remember. Van's group decided to take a short break. Can she save from those criminals? The girl tried to actually kill Elaine. Ah, uh, it's so fun being in the big city. There's so many strange and unusual things to see. Like that place over there. I wonder what it's supposed to be. Maybe I'll have a look-see just for fun. Uh, what does she think she's doing? She's drawing a ton of attention to herself walking around looking like that. I guess everything I heard was true after all. Better make myself scarce before I get caught up in anything. Trails wave! Van! Van, is that you over there? What a coincidence! Damn it, guess I better resign myself to get my er, to my fate. Hey, 
You weren't trying to run away from me just now, were you? That really hurts. Just because I'm a hardened warrior doesn't mean I'm made of stone, you know. I'm not worried about your feelings as much as my own rep if people see me hanging out with someone who can't dress like a normal person. What? Do I really look that weird? I like to think I stay on top of the latest trends in my own way. You're better than your ninja pals, I'll give you that much. But you still stick out like a sore thumb in these parts. Well, so what if I do? You've got to learn not to sweat the small stuff so much, Van. I wouldn't be sweating if it was small. That's what I'm telling you. Well, either way, I found you at the perfect time. I don't know what you're up to right now, but could you come with me for a little bit? I could use your help with something. <sighs> Whatever you have in mind, better not be trying to stir anything up. I don't want any part of it. Alas, I'm not. Although, that's a good idea, too. I wasn't trying to suggest anything. Anyways, I'm looking to track down a skilled smith who can keep things hush-hush. But, as you can imagine, I hardly know anything about this city, so I haven't had much luck finding anyone so far. Do you know anybody who would maybe you could recommend to me? Sure, I got someone in mind. Why do you need something like that? Gotta retemper your sword or something? Oh no, the blade itself is doing just fine. It's the scabbard that needs some patching up, after the heavy beating it took in Arasion. It does, huh? That's unfortunate. I've heard of swordsmen using their scabbards as weapons before, but I didn't realize that's what she did back there. Now I'll say, so what do you say? Think you can hook a girl up? Alright, but if I'm gonna help you, you have to promise not to cause any chaos once we're done, got it? I see heresy. Oh, Beatrice, you don't like Elaine? <sighs> Beatrice, I'm so sorry to do this, but Dan, can we fucking ban Beatrice? I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. But shame on you. Again, kidding. It's your opinion. It's all good. <laughs> That's it. You're out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> it's that, it's that gif, that old like black and white movie. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Van led Shizuna to a merchant he felt might be able to assist her. Hey, buddy. Got a minute to talk? Well, hello there, Van. It's so wonderful to see you. And who else do you have with you today? Oh, my gracious. Am I seeing things? Or is that the Ikaruga's right-hand woman herself? Handsome Lothars. What's up, my guy? Oh, you know who I am? I'm flattered. Nice to meet you. Oh, no. The pleasure is all mine, truly. What brings you, of all people, to my humble little armory? It looks like you mostly sell weapons here, but you wouldn't happen to offer repair services to, would you? Why, yes I do. Perfect, then I've got a little favor to ask you. But only if you keep my visit see, uh, here a secret. I trust that won't be a problem. Your secret's safe with me, ma'am. Confidentiality is my prime directive here at the shop. Oh, I'm just shaking a real divine blade right here in my store. It's like Adios herself descended right before my eyes. Damn. My word. Such splendid craftsmanship. It's so, so beautiful. Too beautiful for this world. Bro, I would take that over Reen's Tachi any day. Holy smokes. I'm really sorry, man, but I don't think I have what it takes to handle a blade of such splendor. No, it's not the blade I need help with. It's the scabbard that needs attention. Well, Reen's Tachi is broken, so... Well, Crimson, you don't know, and in the time that they battled, it could have been reforged. So you don't know if it's still broken. Uh, so it is. Forgive my presumption. Yes, it does seem to have developed a minor crack. This seems to be made differently from your typical scabbard, but I should be able to restore it all the same. In fact, it shouldn't take me all that long. Just give me a little time, and I'll have it as good as new. Great. Glad to hear it. If you could just fill in the missing portion with this, that would be perfect. A blade tip? Where'd that come from? From a younger disciple in my school. I like to think of it as a memento of the short time I shared with him.
Are you sure you want to do that? If I'm being honest, I have materials on hand that would be better suited for this sort of restoration. That's okay. I know what I'm asking for. I think this fits it better personally. It really is? Fuck, Crimson. You did know. You were just, you were just foreshadowing. All right, get out. <laughs> get out. Now you're out too. Both of you, get out. You gotta go. Both of you. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. I mean, like, what are the chances? Well, I guess the chances were pretty good because you've already played this, so you know. But I was like, huh. All right. Well, about that. Holy mackerel. I stand corrected. My humblest of apologies. As you wish, I'll have it patched up in just a few moments. Hmm. Can't say I really know what kind of style that Black God One Blade of Hers is. Uh, Black God One Blade of Hers is like. Got me curious about this younger disciple of hers, though. I remember her using a fancy technique in Long Lie that came from a new Divine Blade. Maybe the two are related? So I think, I think just in this instance alone, like in this, uh, hold on. Right hand woman. So, I mean, just, just at this glance right here, I would take that as like, she's second in command. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Damn, for sure. Yeah. So we don't know who the head honcho is. Yeah, she was leading the group in the city. True. Curious to learn more, huh? I'd be happy to fill you in. The van said Ikaruga SSS Jaeger Corps led by the Divine Blade of Silver during the intermission now. Yeah, I think I think like what Dan is saying too. Like, yeah, she's got like one squad that she's leading. Or maybe she's used Helix. And there's actually two of her. Remember when we like we first get to see her and she turns that leaf into two? That's maybe that's it. Maybe there's another her out there. Maybe there's two. Oh, duality. I'm sorry. Right. Sorry. Sorry. Double trouble. Double leaf could be double she's enough. I'll pass. Not really my business. Uh-huh. If you say so. All finished. Here you go, ma'am. Lothar's, you're doing pretty good, man. Youngblood had a little bit of a rocky morning. Second day at kindergarten, but uh, I guess he had a great rest of his day, so that works. Mrs. Neo's doing well, also. Hope you guys are doing great. Wonderful. I gotta say, I'm impressed. This looks pretty good, thanks. Oh, gee, you're just too kind, Silverblade. It was my honor to have your business. Alrighty, now that's one less thing to worry about. I bet it'd be a pain in the ass to lug that thing around if the scabbard went kaput. Oh yeah, and the problem don't stop there with this sword. This isn't your average blade. It's always emanating a certain energy. It's hard to describe. Not exactly cursed, but more like imbued, bewitched even. Some trained eyes have called it. I have to keep that energy in check with the scabbard or it might spill out. And they'd get re then it'd get real ugly real fast. Hmm. Oh, that ain't ominous at all. Anyways, that's why the scabbard's made so differently. The entire thing's built from weapons and armor that... I took from formidable fighters I've encountered on my travels. Oh. Those weapons and their wielders fighting spirits are the only materials capable of holding back the blade's power. Huh. I see. If you could keep all that to yourself too, shopkeep, I'd really appreciate it. Y yes, of course. 
My lips are sealed so tight, not even Adios herself could pry them open. Just who the hell is this chick carrying that dicey-ass blade on her like it's a walk in the park? Meh, probably shouldn't think on it too hard. It all sounds kind of bullshit-ish. So, maybe it was bullshit. Fair point, who's to say I didn't just make it all up? It still got the, uh, it still got the point across, though, didn't it? Every sword needs a story. You really want to cast that kind of doubt on your public image, though? Might not be a good look. Wait, what the? Did you just read my mind? I cut that shit out! Well, now that we've got all that out of the way, I think I'll be heading back up. Thanks for showing me around, Van. Let's do this again sometime soon, all right? I'd, uh, really rather not make a habit of this if I can help it. Uh, don't be such a spoil sport. Maybe you and I should square off after again, like you suggested. Whatever it takes to build a better relationship with you. To hell with that! How many times do I have to tell you? After bidding Shizuna an exhausted farewell, Van reunited with the rest of the gang and got back to work. I'm that never was bored when I'm with you. I can only imagine what's. That was damn good too, next. man. Silver case. Silver case. Give me Shizuna versus Aurelia one day. Yes, please. Hot damn. Hmm. Where the heck? Where the hell is it? How the hell am I just looking right over it? Silver case. It is right beneath the sun lamp. There it is. Make him stronger. All right. Nope. Nope. Yes. Yeah, so it's just going to be... Yeah, because I'm not going to do Anya's. She's already good to go. All right, hold on. I got to go. Uh, I got to go break the seal. And then we'll, uh, we'll BRB. Promise.
Philly, I'm sure you've been watching, but has it just been a defensive game? Because 13 to 10 at half doesn't strike me as the shootout that I thought it was going to be. Mahomes already with a, an interception. Feels good. <laughs> Oh, yeah, early football season for sure. <clears throat> All right. Let's walk it up the line. Vans Group decided to take a short break. And that's it. There. Your hand should be working a little bit more smoothly now. Tell me if anything feels off, or are you doing just peachy? More than just peachy, I actually feel like I'll be able to perform even more precisely now thanks to these adjustments. Damn, I'm impressed. Can't even tell their implants just by looking at them. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, yo, CJ. Hey, thanks for hanging with us tonight, man. Good to be able to chat it up a bit, dude. Enjoy the rest of your night. If I don't, uh, if I don't get the opportunity to, to tell you so tomorrow, enjoy your weekend, man. Oh, yeah, thanks for the love on the shirts, man. I love my shirts. Comfy cozy. Sarah, what's the matter? It's the arm implants, not her guns. Bro, is that where your head went? Is that where your head went? Unless there was a double entendre and they just didn't lean too far into it. Is that what it was supposed to be, you think? Do you think that was just supposed to be kind of a... Uh, one of those comments and nobody else picked up on it? Or do you think that he legitimately was like, yeah, look at the arm. Doesn't look like implants at all. <laughs> if that's what you're referring to, that would be pretty fucking funny, though. The updated frame was designed by Marduk's engineering and development department. But I took the receptors that handle her brain's electrical signals and tried to subdivide them to further refine their design. I also increased the precision of her skin's cutaneous sensors. Hopefully it'll feel so natural you won't even know it's not the real thing. It'll fit just like a glove. Eh, all the jargon's going straight over my head, Doc, but hopefully it means it's an improvement. That's right, though it also puts more of a burden on the remaining organic parts, albeit faint. Since it's only a partial replacement, I'm a teensy bit concerned about the balance shift between the old and new parts. So, be a sweetie and try testing everything with Van, just to make sure it's all dandy. Of course, I expected as much, having had adjustments of a similar ilk in the past. Should probably keep the test into a day-to-day -day activities to see if she can still perform them well, yeah? Yep, that kind of real-world use case data is much more useful than anything a formal test would generate. What do you say, Van? Wanna help? Pretty please? Yeah, no problem. I'm her boss, you know. It's in my best interest to help out with these things. Well, what do you say we get started already? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I appreciate the support, Mr. Arkride. Thank you for offering your assistance. From there, Van and Reset got straight to work testing out her prosthetic parts. Hmm, typing feels normal. Well, that might be inaccurate. The sensation's definitely changed. The key presses feel much more vivid. Huh. I've never even given how typing feels a second thought, but I guess it's pretty important, too. I didn't know you were keeping business records for Master, too. Not that I mind, of course. I always intended to pay him, uh, pay him his due on, like, a certain celebrity in our ranks. Careful. I can't imagine Miss Lanster will like hearing that. You could fool anyone standing in the kitchen like that. You could pass for a real maid. I appreciate the flattery, but I can't quite claim to be as apt as proper maids in terms of housework. It's, uh, it's only appearance where I fit the part. However, I feel like I might be able to approximate my former cooking skills much more closely now. That's good, Reset. I'm glad to hear it. Since I'm already here, would you like me to prepare you some snacks for later tonight? Oh, please and thanks. I'm usually hunting for a bite after night, or at night. 
Not like I can ever find anything, considering Aaron loves raiding the fridge in the middle of the night, the little mooch. <laughs> All right. I'll prepare something light for you. Don't want to overburden your digestive system so late. In the drive was totally fine. Guess there was nothing to worry about. The weight on the handling and the smooth motion on the shift lever are both perfect. Am I right in assuming you customized both? You noticed? Yeah, can't skimp on quality where the driver's concerned. It's still not perfect though, so best look forward to some sweet upgrades. Mm-hmm, <laughs> then I will. Depending on your customizations, it might prove as useful for, uh, useful food for thought while developing future armored vehicles at our company. I'd rather not hear a- oh, my bad. I'd rather not hear about my baby being used to develop scary shit like that. There are times, and I think more so just in, like, the last few nights where I've just steadily gotten tripped up on words and I just think it's because I'm I'm like I'm out of I'm out of rhythm you know what I mean but I I do kind of wish that there were character portraits always it's not always the case I know some might say that they kind of can get in the way and I understand that too but I wouldn't mind the character portraits always being there all right last thing to do is a combat test and then we're done then you can give me the usual reset it would be my pleasure. Let us begin. From there, the combat exercise proceeded without a hitch, bringing an end to the testing regimen. After contacting Associate Professor Esmeré, it was time to regroup back at the office. Yeah, Your Highness, I, can, I don't know. It's just kind of become white noise at this point, for me at least. And done. No marks on site for you. I took a look-see at the data you two got for me, and everything looks hunky-dory. Your body's not straining to accommodate for the new parts. So feel free to keep using them. Are you sure? I was certain that you'd be taking them back once we were done testing. That was the plan, but I changed my mind. Let's call it a gift to celebrate the Revolution Festival. So what you're saying, she could have a vibration function if she wanted, Dan? Not gonna lie. Thought about making that joke. That arm is good as new. <laughs> Holy mackerel. And your data indicates that the parts are now reliable enough to put to practical use. Our data quality has improved so much ever since you came here. My research has been progressing by leaps and bounds. Oh, that's great news to hear. Thank you for your generosity, Associate Professor. Well, my business here is done. I'm going to skedaddle now. I'm so eager to get my hands on that new data so I can look it over in more detail. Thanks for helping out today, Van. Don't mention it. You're the one putting in all the hard work. All right, let's take a small break, then it's back to patrolling. Sound good? Of course. Thank you again for, si for assisting with today's test. Oh. Actually, there's one last thing we didn't test. It almost slipped my mind. It's not strictly required, so don't feel pressured to help with it. That's fine. Don't mind going for another round. Better safe than sorry, right? I suppose so. In that case, Mr. Arkride, could you please hold out your palm for me? Uh, I don't get it. What kind of test are we doing here? Checking skin-to-skin -skin contact, in a sense. I'm checking for two different factors. First, skin sensitivity and grip to ensure no problems are present in either. As for the other one, we gauge how someone else feels when I touch them, and if anything feels wrong on their end. Gotcha. Well, for my mirror, everything's normal. I probably wouldn't be able to tell you you've got prosthetics on, even if I didn't know all... Uh, prosthetics if I didn't know already. It's reassuring hearing that from you. As for me, hmm... The sensation's more lifelike than it was before. Definitely sharper. Your hand's warm, Mr. Arkride. It feels just right. I... This is getting a little awkward. No offense. None taken. We can stop here. I sincerely appreciate your help. Goddamn. I just... I think about games past for, like, legitimate bonding events. They could, like... If this were in Cold Steel... They would have leaned so far in on the harem for that. You know what I mean? Like, if this were if this were Reen and somebody else, 
it, it immediately would have shifted into like, I love you. I can feel your heartbeat with my hand. Let's be together forever. Huh? Huh? What? Maybe I just don't know what to look for, but your body doesn't feel any different to me than anyone else's. Well, there most certainly is a difference. For all the technological progress being made, it's by no means easy to genuinely replicate how a human body feels. Uh, Miss Archette tells me that I feel approximately 70% of what an organic body is capable of. These new parts have perhaps raised the margin by about 0.67%, but there's still much work to be done. Huh, I had no idea. Guess we'll just have to pin our hopes on her and Marduk closing the rest of the gap eventually. More or less, yes. Though to be frank, what Olympia said earlier still lingers in my mind. She described my body as artificial, incapable of feeling anything genuinely. And that it might be the reason I endlessly aspire for the real thing, forever unable to attain it. Although, aspire is perhaps a rather noble way to describe it. More than I might deserve. Hmm, I understand why having something feeling real would be such a big deal for you. But, she's trying to compare you to that doll of hers, and that's where she's wrong. What your body feels is just as real as what anybody else feels. How do you mean? Let's see, you know how if you try to tickle someone, some people are fine with it, but others can't stand it? And both of those responses are fine, yeah? Can't say either of them is right or wrong for feeling what they feel. And it's not because their bodies are fake or whatever, it's just each of them having a different perception of the same thing. Uh, yeah, okay, bad example. There's a reason I'm a spriggan and not a writer. I'm not good at this shit. Point is, real is what you make of it. If what you sense feels genuine to you, then it's real. Prosthetics or not. You catch my drift? That I do, loud and clear. You're right, perhaps I was too fixated on the difference between a real body and mine. But my feelings are my own, and I shouldn't doubt them. If I might offer a few words, m uh, a few words, moments such as this remind me of something else that feels just as real to me. And it's the place that you occupy in my life, Van, as well as those of everyone else. It's genuine to me. To me, you're not just Mr. Arkwright, our boss. You're precious to me, to us. I'll forever be grateful to have you in my life. Never forget that. Eh, I don't even know what to say to that. You've changed for the better. It's nice to see you talking like that. But thanks, I promise I'll always keep that in mind. Damn, man, that went real hard, too. After that, Van and Reset continued to relax at the office for a short while longer. Shortly after, they decided to return to patrolling the city. <sighs> you certainly can push a woman's buttons, Mr. Arkride. Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. Very great events, Jeff. I concur, man. Golly. Nope. Yeah. A ten. Oh, dude, we just got monies. Let's go, baby. <laughs> We've got some monies, we got some monies, we got, 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 got some monies. Ah. Your limited edition of Daybreak and Cold Steel 3-4 should finally be here tomorrow? Jesus. Fuck that, man. If I was ever, like, on the ropes of, like, man, should I buy something physical or should I get something digital? You know what I mean? Like, if I had if I had a console to buy physical, just, you, like, your situation alone would push me so far to the opposite of buying physical. I'd be like, nah, I'm just staying digital. Fuck that. Or, like, if you could manage to find it in a store, which you probably couldn't. Like, no, for, I just, I wouldn't, dude. What a pain in the nuts. I can't believe I let you drag me here. Now oh, quit your belly aching, Grandpa. I know you didn't have anything better to do with your time. Why not have a go? Just the two of us. Look, I'm not in the mood for a fight, got it? If you want to train together, I'm game, but it'll have to wait till another day. You don't get it, man. Now that the Mafia is taken care of, I bet you feel like you finally, you're finally done with everything. I mean, sure. Well, that's not how it feels for me. Because of your unfinished business and all? Damn straight. And you know what that business is. I haven't beaten you one single time in a fight. And that matters why? You really care that much whether or not you can beat some random spriggan in a fight? 
Hell yeah, I still care. Been two months and I still don't have a point on the damn board. We've got a score to settle as men, you and me. And I'm not taking no for an answer. Damn brat. All right, fine. You want to fight? You got one. I know it feels when you're left wanting for closure. Now I'm only giving you one chance. Put up or shut up, kid. Give me everything you got. Damn straight I will. Let's do this. Do I actually get to do it? Or is it just going to be a choreographed fight? Because either would be sick. Fuck, man! Wish I could see the choreography, not just hear the sound effects. Oh! Grips on top! Ah, oh, shit. I was so close. A little more and I, I would have had it. Technique always beats talent, kid. You can train as much as you want, but I'll still be top dog. Ah, you shut your hole. You barely won and you know it. Take it in while you can, you antique. Soon enough, it'll be you on the floor. But for the love of Adios, four years really ain't that much. You gotta start, are you just gonna harp on that forever? Of course I am. How many times have I gone on about that already? Couldn't tell you, stopped counting a long time ago. <laughs> the absolute bro out. Ah, nothing like a cold one after breaking a good sweat. For someone who just became legal not that long ago, you sure don't drink like it. But hey, if you're satisfied after that, I'm happy. No, I never said I was satisfied. I've just made peace with it and moved on, for now. One of these days, I'm gonna beat your ass real good, you hear? You never make things easy for me, do you, punk? Am I just gonna be fending you off for the rest of my days? Nah, maybe a few months at most. All I gotta do is dethrone you, and it will happen, mark my words, sooner than you think. Huh, <laughs> good luck with that. As if I'm just gonna sit here and take it. Like I said, all things in good time. You savor the view from the top while you still can. End of the day, I don't even know if there's a way for us to settle the score for good. We've done too much for each other. And you need to learn to slow down too, Chief. You're always living so hard and fast, right on the edge. Can't be good for your heart at your age. Take it easy once in a while. Go out for drinks, take a day off. Shit can wait sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Well, would you look at that. You're actually capable of saying something nice and helpful. Who'd have thought? But enough about me. If anybody's in need of advice, it's you, punk. You should learn to ask others for help more often. You might be a real pain in the neck, but you're my pain in the neck. I'm always looking after you and making sure you don't fly off the rails. Heh. <laughs> I'll listen to you when Gehenna freezes and palms fly. Got it? Van took Aaron's advice for once and savored the moment with him over more than a couple of cold ones. Once Van returned to the surface, of course, he resumed his normal business. <sighs> Thanks for that, I guess. Damn, that was wicked good, too. <sighs> Wipe that stupid smirk off your face. Yeah, these... these... These events have knocked it out of the park, man. Yeah, Jeff, I'm with you. I kind of wish we would have. Either that, but yeah, let's bring it. We got off screened. I would have loved to have seen the choreographed fight. All right, last one. Street corner singing. Well, Dan, this place is lively. The festival's atmosphere is kind of contagious. Hmm, wonder what everyone's up to. Is that fairy? Oh, Van! Funny running into you! You look like you were having fun. Wasn't expecting you to be part of the event. Caught me off guard. Don't get me wrong, though. Song's nice. Aw, thank you! Actually, I got a letter from Abby just a bit ago. He said I'll be participating in the Kruger Village's New Year's Festival. I'll be the priestess this year. Priestess, huh? That's some kind of Kruger New Year's tradition? Yep, we thank the winged goddess Arusha for her guidance and pray for her to bless the upcoming year. 
A woman in the village is chosen every year to play a role of priestess and sing the Song of Flames. This will actually be my first time back home. I'll show them how much I've grown when I play the role of priestess. And I guess I thought that by performing here, I could learn something that'll make me stand out from all the other priestesses. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Practicing here could help with that. I can try lending you a hand since your pops told me to take care of you. Would you? Thank you! Don't go giving thanks yet. I don't know a lick about singing. We might need someone else. Wait, is that... Van and Fairy 2! Sarah! Shahina! Hi! I like that a stroke of luck. Couldn't have asked for a better era for anyone better. Oh, I see. Um, excuse me, can I ask you two something? After explaining the situation, Sarah and Shahina happily agreed to help. To start, they had Fairy sing for them so they could evaluate her. Fairy, you're fantastic! That was enchanting! It had a dignified and serene feeling to it. It's not an easy song, but you give it an identity of your, uh, an, I an identity, words, of your own when you sing it. Anyone listening to you will understand just how much this means to you. Emotions on full display like that draw people in. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You just fucking keep going. Like... Just a 30 minute long clapping. <laughs> Dan, now if you close your eyes. <laughs> Holy smokes. Hilarious. Honestly, I don't know if there's much advice we can give you. <laughs> You're already great as it is. Yeah, one day I'll, I'll yeah, bathroom break and I'll just... I'll just leave this on clapping. It'll just be a clap track. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hearing you say that is encouraging. It's not hard to sing with your heart, really. But I feel like something's still missing. Maybe the thing you're missing isn't the song at all. Why not try dancing? Even a simple choreography might make a bigger impact than if you just sang the Song of Flames. Dancing! I hadn't thought of that, but it's a great idea. I could try some of the dances Shahina taught me already. Oh, I like that idea. I'd love to see you try. If that's decided, then let's try to come up with a quick routine for you. Well, why don't you join us, Van, since you're here and everything? Me? Pass. I was born with two left feet. <laughs> that's not what I meant. You don't need to dance, just accompany her. We brought a... tabla with us? Actually, to you... We brought a tabla with us, actually, uh, to use in case, to use in a performance. I can't word. Ah, Zach? Hey, man, good to see you. Thank you very much for the raid. Hibbington, notification, Yami, how are you? Eric, dude, what's good, man? Yeah, you just missed the clapathon. It was really good. Obviously, Zach is going to raid and run, I would imagine. I appreciate the raid very, very much. If you're still listening, I won't talk about the game. Yeah, oh yeah, I don't I don't blame him. I kind of assumed that would be it. I, I'm very, very appreciative of the raid, my guy. I hope you've been enjoying yourself in Daybreak. And I hope that we can boogie down on some Gundam Breakers for this weekend at some point in time. As far as I know, he's in Tharbad right now. Okay, cool. Well, I mean then, this is kind of good not Tharbad-esque, but, you know. But I get it, faux show. Hope you had a great stream, man. Yeah, this is a perfect scream. Scream, not scream. Yeah, so we'll do... Yeah, we'll do double zero tomorrow. Like, will we be able to finish double zero tomorrow night? Well, we got double zero, and then we have the movie. So if we do double zero tomorrow night, movie Saturday night, Gun to Breakers Sunday, oh, town episodes left. So maybe not 10 tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get in some Gundam Breakers time now, I feel. At some point in time. 
Saturday afternoonish, maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But yeah, I definitely uh, I gotta get gotta get to getting gotta build my Hyakushiki for sure. Oh yeah, that would make it easier to keep the rhythm. Fan, please, I'll do better if you're here supporting me. All right, fine. Can't say no to that. I guess I just beat the drum to match the mood. Yeah, Double Zero has been really enjoyable. The first, like, ten episodes in the first season were the build-up, and then it just went straight to the fucking moon. Like, no no pun intended, obviously, but... And then we started season two, and it just stayed, like... Whoo, to the friggin' up there. Holy mackerel. That'd be perfect. Let's give it our all. With the combined help of Sarah and Shahina, Fairy started practicing her performance. Oh. Though it was difficult for her to balance singing and dancing at first, her natural talents eventually shone through, helping her sing and dance in harmony. And as Van slowly hung on the drums, everything came together as a new song of flames. Thank you so much! Pippington football has started with Thanos Mahomes. I mean, he didn't have the greatest first half, so maybe not snapping just yet. Dom, what's good, my guy? How are you? Phew, I think that one went pretty well. That was stellar. I'm sure this is just what you needed to impress at your New Year's Festival, Fairy. <laughs> if I do, it's thanks to you two and Van. I won't stop practicing until I can sing and dance like a proper priestess. And look at the timing here. The perfect audience just showed up. Huh? Ah, all right. I'm glad to see you well, Ferida. Abby? Kasim? Fee too? Most impressive to see an employer so dedicated he'll even provide assistance to his staff in matters of song and dance. Well, shit happens. Wasn't expecting a bunch of big shots like you to come by, though. I happened to bump into Marduk's security chief while I was patrolling Aubert. We were just walking around when we spotted you guys. I was just as surprised as you to bump into Kruger Corps commander, though. <laughs> well, I visit the capital from time to time to take care of business. I thought to stop by and see how Ferido is doing while I was at it. You're doing even better than I expected. You've grown, Ferida, and it shows in the way you carry yourself. In that idea of yours of dancing as you sing, I like it. Surely you agree as well, Kasim? She's still got some work to do, still unstable for on her feet, so her movements aren't particularly smooth just yet. If you're going for this, be sure to do your utmost. Of course! I just started, so it's not the best right now, but I'll keep practicing. Look forward to me flooring you. Huh. Security Chief's advice was actually reasonable. Maybe they're not that strained after all. Oh, and Arkride, let me congratulate you for a job well done in Oracion. Ferida has grown so much since I entrusted her to you. I haven't regretted that choice. Glad to hear that. Would have appreciated a heads up before having a whole ass child dumped on me like that, though. But she's pulling her weight around the office, so it's all good. <laughs> it's good to know. I'll leave my daughter in your care. She still has much to learn. I'll be looking forward to seeing you at the New Year's Festival, Ferida. Of course. Thank you, Abby. You too, Kasim. Fee. I'll do my best as priestess and with song and with the Song of Flames. That way I can prove to you how much I've grown. Hmm. Haida would be happy for her, too. No doubt. After they left, Sarah and Shahina helped Ferry in practicing the Song of Flames for a while longer. When they finished, Van and Ferry said their goodbyes and left. Alright, I'm headed back. Something up? No, no, it's just... I've grown so much and I feel like I can keep growing even more if I stick with you, Van. Wherever you go, I'll follow. So thank you for continuing to take good care of me. Eh, push you for a part-timer, aren't you? Guess I'll keep on looking after you. At least I can do as your boss. <laughs> of course. Man, another good I'm one. I'm going to do my best so that I'll be Haida, you guys, so that everyone... Four for four, man. Me. Those are all stellar. Five for five, rather. 
Oh, so did you um did you do Agnes? Feeling a bit groggy after waking up. Gonna make some coffee, dude. Make a double for me, would you please? Yeah, that was super good as well. All right, now we're going. Right, we're good to go. Yeah, you did, Agnes. Okay. God damn. All right, let's fucking rock and roll, huh? Uh. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do the bathhouse first. <laughs> That well. Welcome to look. Let's take a dip. On top of the world. On top of the world. Make sure you don't catch a cold. Should I get in the car now? Hopefully, I'm just being paranoid about all this. Best to err on the side of caution, though. The main story will advance if you choose to get in the car. Unfinished quests and unseen sub events will disappear. Well done. Triple A rank. Hell yeah, Employees baby. Is sure to be impressed. Feels good, triple A. No S rank though. It's kind of hoping for like full like boom, all S. <laughs> I'll gladly take that. Altium garb, HP 900, EP 90 prevents ailments. Holy shit. Hmm. Triple A. Feels good. Yeah, so I know that it had been talked about you know, as we were playing through all, like, for those of you that have already gone through it, but yeah, there, there was, um, there was quite the, quite the buffer, huh? Quite the, uh, quite the buffer zone for AAA. <laughs> Can't complain with that. Oof, got the S too, though. Feels this good. This was inevitable. Yo, Judith. going to be, fam. You put that one on Katra? Good call. After that, Van split off from the group after doing the rounds. He went for a cruise in his truck around the other districts, but... Wow. She sure is a comfy ride. I spotted her back in Long Lai in Arasiang. I really wanted to see how cozy she was. First up is Treon Tower, right? I'm also just itching to check out the Grand Circuit. Now look here. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, man? Did she just sneak in and he didn't fucking see her? <laughs> Let's get this straight. I'm technically still on the job. It's not my responsibility to give you a ride. You're not even one of my employees. That was good. <laughs> also, if you're wondering what carryover stuff is, if you got AAA or AA, uh, an item for each alignment, and I think for just beating the game, level does not... Oh, okay. So wait, so wait. You get something for AAA or AA, and an item for each alignment, and a thing for just beating the game? So you get three? Let me in! No. Just does one of these. He's just like... Come if you get them to... Now. Oh, if you get we them to rank five, okay. That. Don't be so cruel. We worked together back in Arasian, didn't we? And I even stalled Marduk for you. And you're not so big a fan of owing people, right? Uh. I plan on driving around Tryon Tower in the 3rd District, Trench, uh, Center Marsh in the 9th District, and the Grand Circuit in the 12th District. I'll do a quick drive through the 10th and 11th Districts. But I doubt anything's gonna happen in any of those places, so don't go complaining about being bored, got yes, it? sir. Sounds swell. I'm telling you, you have no idea how annoying Kurogane can be sometimes. Nice that we can kick back without the old ball and chain, huh? I'm waiting for him to just like, he's in the back seat. There's no we in this. <laughs> Oh, that felt great. That's so fucking good, dude. That was awesome. I loved it.
Bro, I love what they're doing here. It's amazing. I love the artwork. That was a blast. You should maybe think about starting up a side hustle as a tour guide. I think you'd kill it. 3.50 p.m. on December the 3rd. Thanks, I guess. I only did a quick drive around, but nothing seemed out of the ordinary. But then... Edith really is a big city, isn't it? I've never been to Erebonia's capital, so I don't know how it measures up. But I can compare it to Iska's. This city's probably just as big as that place. You're talking about the Holy Iskan Empire that collapsed 130 years ago, yeah? Mm-hmm. The name only lives on through a union of cities in the same region. Well, I say union, but they're always at each other's throats. Gives us constant, er, consistent work, though, so you won't hear me complaining. Lines up with the rumors I've heard. Speaking of stuff I've heard, I was under the impression you guys rarely left the East. I know Calvert's raking in the dough these days, but it's strange that you've been chilling here for over a year considering your Ikaruga second in command. What's the deal there? Well, well. Something tells me you know what went down in Long Lai at the start of the year. You know, the fight between me and a fellow disciple. If so, you must have caught on to the purpose of sealing off Kunlun. I think you're overestimating me. I haven't got anything more than a vague idea. I do know about your disciple, friend, though. Never met the guy myself, but we share a few acquaintances. I know what the Sword Hermit's up to. I also know what the Sword Hermit's up to and what Marduk's plotting. Wish I didn't, but I've got a nasty habit of picking up info I don't even want. Well, like it or not, you've gathered a lot of the pieces, but it doesn't sound like you figured out how they fit together. Maybe the CID can help you along? I bet someone there would let slip a detail or two around you. On second thought, that may not happen while the Flying Swallow and the old friend of yours are at the helm. They run a tight ship. You seem to know a lot of, uh, you need... You seem to know a lot about that place. I know what you're thinking. It's not directly connected to what you're worrying about right now. So let that train of thought go for now, and focus on what's in front of you. Are you... reading my mind? Of course not, silly. You're just an open book. I've already poured over its contents. It's how I know the reason behind your fixation on debts, and that you are, and have been, living in fear of something. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Saved by the bell. Mine's going off too. Oh, this isn't good. Heck of a coincidence. Or maybe it isn't one. I don't have a free hand, so you pick it up. Just when we were finally starting to break the ice. Mm. Oh. Wait, why is my phone... Oh, I think it's been hacked. The hell? Oh, no. It's Arasian all over again. And that can only mean... Why, hello, dear victors Fuck. and losers of the death game. Hope you missed me, because I missed you. And greetings to those uninvolved with the game. My name is Melchior. And I am, or was, an executive of Almada, a mafia that met an untimely demise. Enough about me, though. Congratulations on the anniversary of the revolution. Glory to Calvert, hurrah, three cheers and all that. <laughs> oh, it kills me. All right, now everybody close your eyes. <laughs> In honor of this momentous occasion, I have come bearing a most wonderful... Oh, my goodness. <sighs> he 
he's got the seventh. Fucking That's A. That's one of the Genesis, right? I think I finally understand that premonition I had. <laughs> Isn't it magnificent? Now behold, fair citizens of the capital! You have front row seats to the show. Dante's desire will come about as a banquet of fear that will engulf the world. Witness and cower as this relic ends all things by ushering in a new dawn, pandemonium! Holy shit! Holy mackerel. <gasps> Everybody is... Oh, my lanta. What, what just happened? And why is everyone frozen? And why are you... Uh, what's going on? Why are you not Everyone, stay calm. Huh? Ew, what's with that creepy ball? I I don't know, but I've got to snap a pic of this. Bro, Holy guacamole. Real beasties. Holy guacamole. Let's hurry, Mina. <laughs> that orb looks like the orb in the reverie corridor. <laughs> Fucking A, the lighting, the anim like the lighting, Ooh, the art, it all I looks just felt so a good. Chill run down my spine. And here I was thinking Cray's destruction would be the peak. Oh my. Whoa! But where did that come from? Yume, we're leaving right now. D why are we the only ones who can move? Whatever. Follow me! What? No, 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 no. falling from the sky? Well, th that doesn't matter. I I've got to get these two to safety. So we'll be. Ah, oh, yes. I remember you. Fancy meeting you here, Mr. Famous Race Car Driver. It's been much too long. Getting spotted might pose a problem. What to do? Well, you know what they say. When in doubt... No, 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 no! Huh? No way! Not on my watch! I won't let you lay a finger! Fast. Jesus, man! Was. No, 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 no! <sighs> Trying to be their knight in shining armor, hmm? How chivalrous of you. Well, if you wish to die that badly, then I'll be happy to cut you up. Good night. No! Maxim! Spare them. For now. Aha. What the fuck? We huh? prepared what? an exquisite feast of fear. Who are we to deny our ravenous guests the chance to relish it? We should let them savor their final meal. Do wait, what how, <laughs> dude? How are they all here? He remains as unpleasant as ever. Kind of bummed that the carnival's over, but hey, a festival's the next best thing. The fun's only just gotten started. Maybe I should have killed Welcome them all. Back to the land of the living. I've been waiting. Bro, what? Hey, 
had a I had a feeling something bad was going to happen, but wow, things really took a turn for the worse. I look like the kid I saw back in Long Lai. And those goons are back too. Wish my eyes were playing tricks on me. We'll worry about that later though. We've got more pressing problems to deal with. So we do. Oh shit. <gasps> Dude, do we get to team up? Is it gonna be Van X? Shizuna? Got some denizens of the underworld on our hands. You can call them devils here in the West, yeah? Uh-huh. Looks like they're out to hunt down anyone who isn't frozen. Ready to team up again? Yeah, dude! Heck yeah! Let's fucking go! Well, that's a gimme. Die, all of you. My blade is both true and false, dancing in the moonlight. Also, you still get to play as her if you didn't do- Oh, shit, okay. So this was like destined to happen. Badass. Bro, what is happening though? How are they still alive? All of them. <laughs> Easy peasy. Those are probably low ranking devils. I wonder if they're all in- I wonder if they're in all the other districts. Uh, more importantly, Everyone around us has been frozen in time. Well, except you, me, Almada's leaders, and those other people we saw on stream. Yeah. Ah, can't make any calls, and the orbital net's down too. Can we drive the car? Like, is there any chance? Ah, good, my girl never lets me down. Not sure why the other cars around here aren't working, though. Anyway, we're not going to learn anything if we stay around here. I'm going to hit all the districts and gather up my employees. What are you planning on doing? I'll stick with you. Might get a better idea as to what's going on that way. Where's Kurogane, though? This area is in the south part of the city, isn't it? Where are you going to go first? Let me see where we are exactly. Closest districts from here are Old Town, Riverside, and Central Station. We can leave as soon as we decide where to go first. I'll be counting on you. Right, as long as I'm here, you won't have to worry about a thing. Shizuna has temporarily joined the party as a guest. Due to the spread of pandemonium, you are unable to use the orbital network. Furthermore, since you cannot contact Katra, the custom menu for orbments in the main menu is inaccessible. Well, that is doo-doo. Why did we just, why did we get out of the car? Advance the main story, inspect the car, and select destiny. Okay. Better double check our equipment. Oh, yeah. Um, Good idea. Never know can what I like. kick a little something? Dude, that, that musical note just remind like, that sounded so familiar it's an old it's a nintendo game it's the only thing i know for certain i just don't know what it is oh i need to hear it again oh because nobody else is here Durr. They didn't put you in the car, so you, yeah, okay, makes sense. And just say, like, he just got in the car and then he got out. Like, what are you doing, big guy? Angelic third slot? Yo, what's up, D? I see you up there, man. My bad, dude. The legit third slot. All right, no, hang on. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go use the John again, and then we'll, we'll get back after. I promise. I'm just gonna keep the screen on, and I'm gonna vanish.
Let's bring it. I don't think you will, but don't. I don't want to. I don't want to hear about Kai footage, please. <laughs> I know you won't. I hope you won't. But please, no. I know it is like I gotta go code dark, or whatever it is. I just gotta go dark mode and not acknowledge anything on the interwebs. Cause yeah, Kai is. <laughs> right around the corner yeah blunt I, I just I started muting stuff up the wazoo when I heard Kai when it was coming out and I was just like mute 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 block block mute mute everything I'm ditching all my trails friend yo no blunt it's look I've I've talked about this before there's people that I have muted, friends of mine that I have muted because they just, they post stuff. And they, like, they don't do it, like, in a malicious sense that, like, they're trying to spoil people. It's just, they've either played, well, they haven't played it, but, like, well, not in Kai's case, but in, like, say, like, Daybreak, Daybreak 2, whatever. As I've been going through the series, like, they just post stuff because they've already played it, you know what I mean? So, it's, it's no love lost ever, dude. Nothing whatsoever. Sarah, I'm gonna be real with you right now. I've had you muted for a hot minute. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I still love you. I hope you know that unconditionally. <laughs> One of them's here right now, Sarah. Sorry, fam. I love you for real. But yeah, you just, you post stuff, you've played through it and like, look, it, it's not a knock on anybody, man. It's your social media. It's your, you post whatever the hell you want, man. Like it's, it's yours, dude, you know? But in that same breath, on my end, I have to I have to curate my feed to what I want to see. <laughs> and Daybreak 2 and anything Kai related ain't it. I want to see none of it. <laughs> like that's it. Yeah, Kai is coming. I'm avoiding looking through social media. Get on post, exit. That's what you got to do. He uh, either that or just stay on uh, like just mute stuff. Good, I'm glad you muted me. Yo, dog. I mean it. It's nothing but love. Later this month, it'll be a fucking nuke storm. I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. I don't spoil anyone, but I still want to talk about it, so I wish more people would do it too. Yeah, man, and like, and that's the thing of it. Like, that's exactly what I was kind of alluding to, I guess. Like, I want people to talk about it, and I want people to be hyped about it. I want my friends to be hyped about it and talk with other friends and be hyped about it and talk about this and talk about that. But it's just stuff that I don't want to see, so I mute like a mofo. All right, so where are we going to go first? Once a district has been selected, the others will be temporarily unavailable. Perida was the one stationed in this district. I'm guessing she's still there, too. Odds are she hasn't been frozen, but I've still got to find her, and fast. Just use... Oh, it's red! Oh, boy, my butthole just clenched a little bit more. <laughs> uh, looks like time has stopped in this area too yo renara thank you very much for the for the six months red means good that is false sir crimson what's good man thank you very much for the raid dude playing xeno gears yo let's go man hope you had a good stream bud sorry I'm I'm uh, I'm in the I'm in the hot and heavy. I hope you're doing great though, bud. For realsies, here they come, and something's telling me they won't be as much of a pushover as the others. Hmm, looks like it. These seem like they'll put up much more of a fight. Give me your worst. <laughs> Bullshit! I skipped the line. We all know it. And it's on a crit. Let's go. Now we're talking. <laughs> Let's get started. Dog, maybe after we, maybe before we go back to 14, we'll play Xenogears. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, like if I don't get the key for 16, maybe do Xenogears. Hmm. Hmm. 
Maybay. I did start at a blind run, sort of, though, on the Xeno series. Started with Xeno Gears and then on to Saga. Hell yeah, dog. Walk it right up the line. Dude, no counter? You're worse than fucking Kurt. Get and evade one out of it. All right. That takes care of them. What was up with those auras they had, though? I'm wondering the same thing. They were in a different league compared to the last batch. Nightmare fuel. <laughs> Think you're being clever, do you? Not so fast. Whoa! Dasani, let's go, dude! Inspector, Victor, glad to see you two ladies are safe Just too. Just when I thought we'd finished evacuating everyone, you had to show up. If it isn't our little punk of a tenant, good to see you hanging in there. Yo, Victor, that's probably the nicest thing you've said to Van all game. You really came. <laughs> you could have come a bit sooner. Everyone entered the B show and relayed what they knew of the situation. Their, experience and, uh, their experiences mirrored each other. A strange call followed by the city and sky changing ominously and most people being frozen in time. As for Ferry, who was with Ashen and Shahina when the disaster struck. So she went off with Clausel, huh? That's right. They thought they might have found something to help turn the city back to normal. I think they're still somewhere in Old Town, though. They're after some kind of creepy orb. It popped up in the sky after everything got messed up, but then it disappeared not long after. They think it's working to strengthen the creatures roaming around. Fairy went out saying she wanted to have something to help you once you came. She did, huh? She's the Kruga one, right? She's got some real potential. Thanks for the heads up. We're gonna head out then. The rest of you stay holed up here and try to hang on, okay? Can we leave everyone in your care, Inspector? Of course. Keeping people safe is my job at the best of times. That and my family's here right now, too. I know you're tough, but take care all the same. Go find Fairy and put her at ease. Will do. Now let's get moving. Golly. Quit dawdling and buy something. Don't tell me how to live my life. Stay out of trouble now. Yo, Jeff. Much love, brother. Get some good sleeps. And uh, I hope you have a great start to your day tomorrow, dude. Appreciate you. She may be with Silphied, but I'm still worried. That girl's in for one hell of a noogie when I find her. Oh, noogies, huh? Oh, we can recover? Let's go. <laughs> no CP recovery, though? Mm, feels bad. Holy shit. This'll make for a good warm up. Cut you up. There's a ton of them. Should we get to work? Slice you down, they're down. Next. We've got the upper hand. They flinched. Have some more. Make it count, man. <laughs> Show me what you got, Silverblade. You got this! Try and see through this. Huh? A chance! <laughs> it's Friday, it's gonna be a great day. I'll be talking to you. Sounds good, man. Oh, so that's gotta be... Oh, so I gotta go back around this way, yeah? Let's clean up everything first. Let's 
Get to work. Cut you up. Think late. Now, let's finish the job. Cut you up. Think late. One more. Think about the upper hand. Hell yeah. Nice. It's a goddamn bat. You nailed it, man. Oh, fuck, man. What is this? Shoot. They called in demons. Oh, dude, well, what? Just kill it next they time. Must be trying to protect it. Let's cross the <laughs> there they are. My move now. Dude, no, Ugh. killing me, Smalls. You're wide open. Make it count, man. Take that. Take this. Show me what you got, Silver Blade. You got this. This is it. Silver wins. Amaze balls, dude. Yeah, lots of no countering. He just dodged three attacks in a row and not a counter to be seen. God damn it, Van. I can't lump you in the same category as Kurt, but I might as well at this point. Okay. My turn now. Sucker. Chance. This'll hurt. It's over. Now Song's overplayed in this chapter, and I don't mind it. It's since it's a banger. Don, I'm with you. you won't One hundo. This. My blade is both true and false, dancing in the moonlight. Now! Behold! Zero three. Barriers dealt with. Do Nothing's I want to no hear a now. hot take? So long as there's no spoilers. Don't get too excited. Looks like there's another one dead ahead. Kuro one isn't just my favorite arc starter. All right. Not my favorite long. trails game. Period. Right on, man. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know if that's necessarily a hot take. Respectfully, I'm sure a lot of people share that same sentiment. Dude, he's got two interceptions tonight. I was like, come on, man. You're killing me. Here's a real hot take. Azure is my third to least favorite game in the series. DC, I won't speak for him, but I feel like Dan holds that same kind of... Uh, I wouldn't call it resentment, but I, I, don't, I don't think he's as hyped on Azure as a lot of people. Again, though, respectfully, I disrespect it. <laughs> I'm kidding. This will make for a good warm up. <laughs> Cut you up. Yeah. Down. If we act now, Cut you we up. can win. Next. Opinions all around, baby. It's all good. 
faux show. When Dan goes to bed, he says a little pray that Falcon forgets about Arios like they do Kevin. <laughs> moment Kuro uh your top three are Kuro Hajimari and Azure currently I go Azure Reverie Sky the third then Cold Steel four after that if we're gonna go top four currently hell of a show Silverblade let's just get free heals Great. Sky the third lives in your head rent free. Same. Angel, what's up, dude? Footage uh certain characters S Craft is making the rounds right now. Man, I just want these games now. Oof. Oh, you're talking like from Kai? Ooh, negative. I want to know nothing. Not a chalada. Ah uh, yeah? I think I'm going the right way. Let's get to work. Yeah, let's not talk about anything just in case. I'll never forgive myself for spoiling C's identity back in Cold Steel. Yeah, there's no Kai footage in Daybreak 2 isn't real, either. <laughs> Let's crash this party. I have one of these games, Trails into Reverie is the one I have. Reverie's great, man. Are you like, do you know the series or is that just you decided to scoop it? Have you played the other ones? Have you, well, no, because you said that's the only one you have. Have you, like, have you watched or do you know about the series? I guess I would ask. That sounds like a wild spot to jump into me. And, like, and I, I say that with no malice behind, like, that's just, that would be crazy because I feel like we would joke about that, like, when Reverie first came out. Like, man, imagine somebody starting at Reverie. Not to say that it, it couldn't happen or it's not a thing, but... Show me what you got, Silverblade. New to playing, but I've heard of it. Oh, okay, cool. Right on, man. Hey, if you're playing Trails, you're doing yourself a big-time favor. Hey, RPG fan. Thanks very much for the follow, man. Welcome to Brutopia. Pleasure to meet you. Thanks for being here with us, bud. Ankle pop. Goodbye, barrier. First 20 minutes of the Kai prologue just leaked, so I'm gonna slurp that up before bed. Yo, Sarah, love you, fam, for realsies. Enjoy the hell out of it, dude. Um. No, Beatrice, don't link that here. Actually, I don't think that auto model let you anyways. <laughs> do it via DMs, do it and do it on Twitter or whatever. Mm, now that feels great. You're a JRPG fan and I think it was 30 when you picked it up. Right on, dude. Yeah, there's a uh, there's a lot to it. That's like the end of a of a ton of games arc. 
That's like the end of six games, basically. It's like the seventh. It's in Discord in the Kai section? Okay. Discord, right there. Yeah, so basically what Reverie is... Reverie is the end of the four Cold Steel games and the two Crossbow games. And it's like the end of the end of that arc. Uh, actually, hang on. Um, no, I guess we are good. Never mind. Mm, now that feels great. There they are. And there's our demon sphere. Shit, man. I'll keep them at bay, B. While I'm doing that, back up a bit. You're better when it comes to forcing your way through enemies. Leave disrupting them to me. If we can keep that sphere in check, that should make life easier for everyone. <sighs> this might have been a mistake. If only we had three, even two more people. Well, wouldn't you know it? Peria, Clausel! Ban! Didn't expect Igaruka's second in command to be with you. Hey, Selfie. Good to see you again. Uh, the talking can wait. We gotta take these down first. We're counting on you for backup, Clausel. Same to you. Let's kick some butt. Fuck yeah. Deploying stars. Hell yeah. Let's fucking rock, dude. Yeah. Help me out, Clausel. Beginning mission. Go. Yeah. When in doubt, what? S craft it out. Now he's gonna keep me away from seeing the cover. Uh, dude, yeah, I'm just going absolutely blind until nah, however long. Like, for, like I know we laugh about it, but I mean it in all seriousness. I'm gonna have Jenna come down here and buy it for me. Like when it does eventually launch, I'm gonna have her sit down. We'll do like a FaceTime call and I'll just walk her through all the steps. I'll call her, or, or I'll like, I'll sit in the, like, whatever. I'll sit out in the basement over here on the couch, and I'll just, I'll walk her through it. I'm not a stranger to picking up later games in a series. I've done it with Shin Megami Tensei and Persona. Well, so what I will say to that, Hyrulean Angel, is that this is probably a much different scenario than your Persona or... Because all of the games are interconnected. All of the characters, the storylines, the world, everything. Like they're all they're all connected. So again, like I said before, you're you're playing trails, you're doing yourself a solid. Um But yeah, there's I mean you'll prop you'll have a fucking blast. It's a great time. It's a lot of fun. There'd probably just be a ton of characters and references that you'd just be like, hmm. But I mean I guess if you don't have any reference to it, then it's you know. It's whatever, I guess. Um. Mana, gather upon me. Time for the main event. S crafts all day, every day. <laughs> Don, yeah, close your eyes. The title screen is safe, that I can say. Here goes. Welcome to the epic finale. Eris, I saw the red... I saw the red Daybreak logo, so... I was like, Let's fucking go, dude! <laughs> I'm ready! 
When in doubt, vandalize raid. Yes, indeedy. Bye bye, Demon Sphere. Shattered. The font's gotten less thick all of a sudden. And they must have been successful. Whew, glad that's over. Looks like we served the uh, severed the connection between the sphere and the devils. So our theory was right on the money then. <laughs> oh. Bro, I thought she was like hurt or something. I was like, oh my god! Hey, easy now. I'm so happy to see you again. Everything just happened so suddenly that I, I... Man. Good grief. Well, I'd say we're done here. Let's get back to the bistro. Whew, there it is, man. If that doesn't make your sphincter pucker a little bit, then I don't know what will. They return to Monmar to report back to everyone and discuss their next move. So you're planning to keep making your way around the other districts then? Yeah, it's gonna be between Riverside and Central Station since both of those are fairly close. One's where Aaron is and the other's where Reset is. I'm sure they're both fine though. Oh, without a doubt. Hmm, maybe I'll tag along for a while then. My local guild branch is in the front of the station, and I want to know what's going on by the river, too. If Sylphie's gonna go with you, then I think it's time I headed off on my own. Please, no. Makes sense. Thanks for all the help you've given us. Not at all. Hanging out with you helped me get a better handle on the situation, so it worked out for the both of us. I'm gonna meet up with Kurogane and the others, so if we learn anything, we'll give you a heads up. See you around. Please don't go. Stay with us forever. Oh. She's supposed to be really strong from all I've heard, but she wasn't at all what I was expecting. She's surprisingly chill. Well, we'd better get on with our own business. Just make sure you do right by your employees, young man. Sir. Oh, I will. Almost goes without saying. And I'll bring Yume and Paulette back safe, too. You can count on it. <laughs> Thank you. The guild will also support him however we can. Fairy joined the party. Fee joined uh, as a guest in Shizuna's place. Shizuna. Sorry, not Shizuna. To advance the main story, inspect the car and select the next destination. All right. Um, 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 um. Right. Goodbye, princess. All right, we're good here. A couple of mobs, whatever, they can pound sand. Hmm, now where should we go next? Aaron was the one stationed in this district. I'm guessing he's still there too. Time to go find him. You old fart. Jin is still just chilling there like, is anybody gonna buy my shit? The effect extends this far, huh? Yeah, there are a lot more people frozen than in the old in old town too. Evil spirit sighted. They look like they've been enhanced by a demon sphere, too. Zyper, 
Hit him fast, Barry. Too late. You're toast. <clears throat> Bring it on. This'll hurt. Fuck! Golly. Oof. Can we get some death blow action on this or what? Like how you are. Payback time. Goddamn struggle bus, dude. Here we go. Yikes. Give a shit if it's overkill. I need to secure the W. It's all I'm worried about. <laughs> Whew, these things are still a real headache. At least they were kind of small. Good lord, Ugh. What? There's so many of them. Stay back. Is that Kasim? That looked like. Holy shit, it was. Kasim! Hey there. Oh. Figured you guys would get involved. Yo, Harwood? I dig you, man. That's all she wrote. Amazing. Also, I don't know if I've made mention of this, but he's got cat eyes, which is like, all right, you've got cat eyes. I've heard that he's a criminal genius and renowned for his poisons, but uh, feels like he's more of a malevolent force than whatever we're up against. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, dude! Bramati's good. Good to see you safe, Bramati, and you're... Oh, you're the guy Aaron's staying with, right? Yeah, there's some fan art of Cat Eyes Harwood, and un it's unsettling, to say the least. I mean, look, dog, if he's got a dildo that is to look like a cattail jammed up his booty hole, I mean, that's his prerogative, bro. Let your freak flag fly, okay? <laughs> he starts meowing. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Please, you've got to help him. I'll leave the explaining to you, Bermati. We're getting out of here. Catch you later. What? I'm glad you're well. But this city is a battlefield. I have my own battles to fight, and you should do the same. Power scale has truly been thrown out the window in this game. Oh yeah, but I mean, there's sometimes where I get, I get real nervous. <laughs> For real, blunt. I was hoping we could at least get a little bit of info on uh, out of one of you before you waltzed off. <laughs> Sorry, Sylphid. I'm looking forward to seeing how you get through this, Arkride. That reward alone is enough to justify Almada's leaders returning from Gehenna. What? Damn, bro. Kind of wish he would stay and join the party. Cocky old bastard just had to throw us a bone to chew on, didn't he? Kasim. Hmm? His face is my type, but he's also living proof that it's possible to be too much of a bad boy. <laughs> now that chief of security, on the other hand, is just plain dreamy. This isn't the time, Bramati. We have to... Ugh. Well, see what you get. Just trying to cock block the guy. Come now. I told you to try and stay calm until your wounds have healed. 
Come on inside, everyone. Bermotti's looking to do a little bit of docking, and he was just like, Don't do it! Ugh! I'll try to fill you in on everything that's been happening here. They entered the cafe and bar, and Bermotti talked them through what he knew about the situation. He also told them about what happened to Aaron. So Renee happened to be here right when it all happened, huh? That's right. You might already know this, but when the chaos began, a strange sphere appeared with it. It disappeared since, but it seems like that little ball is the cause of a lot of our problems. As soon as he found out, Aaron set off with the guy in the glasses to go look into it. I really hope he's okay. Something seemed to be weighing hard on him. Yeah, he had the same eyes he did when Sai and Huang were killed. Aaron. Still, if he had the presidential aide from the CID with him, I'm sure he's fine. We should still go and check on him, though. And to help to destroy the sphere. Can see him saying they didn't need it, though. But I guess we'll just have to owe us one. Anyways, we'll go check things out. In the meantime, see if you can get in touch with anyone else. No problem. I'll see if I can find some way we haven't thought of yet. Thanks, everyone. Please take care of Aaron. He's our friend, too. We'll do everything we can to bring him back. I'll take your order. Aww, you're leaving Aww. already. I'm on the <sighs> Looks like Aaron's lost his cool again. <laughs> and the water is wet. Come on, let's find him and rein him in. <laughs> yeah? We're down. Let's end this quick. Did you get your pre-orders in for Mommy Lance Maiden? No, so blunt. Uh, I don't have a ton of extra income i don't have like a ton of disposable income i guess i should say um would i love to buy all of the figurines for sure would i like to go absolutely ham on buying a whole bunch of gunpla kits and like some of the gnarly absolutely i just i can't can't do it special raff like not to mention all the money i just had to spend on walter you know what i mean like i know can't do I just when when these like when these new models come out, I just live vicariously through everybody else. You know what I mean? Just I'm psyched for them when they come in. I love seeing the pictures of it. You know, I love seeing the stuff. Yeah, young, I gotta do what I gotta do, man. You know, we definitely have plans once we hit the Powerball. We're gonna take care of Falcom and the voice acting end, and then you know, yeah, we'll buy some toys. Yeah, D. Wazzy will put you, put you there. Yeah, Blunt. That's a game plan. When I, when we win Powerball, I'm I'm going to I will self fund the voice acting for all of the Trails games, old and new. Take care of every, take care of all of it. No problemo. Oh, Beatrice, absolutely. And, oh shit, I'm stuck. I, I don't give a fuck what it costs, dog. I'll take care of it. If I've got that kind of fuck you money, I'll do Japanese, English, French, German. I don't, like, I don't know, like, take care of all of it. And do it all. I'm telling you right now, you, you, you know how, like, so people that know of the series know of the series, right? And I, like, I've had a couple of friends that were like, dude, if these games were fully voiced, I'd be on board. He goes, like, but I've seen how much of it isn't. And he goes, it's just too much for me to read or like too much for me to like voice out. And I was like, I respect it, man. I get it. For me, it's like, it's the games like 
I remember games back in the day. None of them were voiced. You know what I mean? But yeah, nowadays, no, nah, I'll foot the bill for that. No problem. With friggin' pleasure. Nice. That went great. Good going, Dan. Oh, it that motif is Zelda from Link, Link Two, or it was it Zelda for for Nintendo, like OG Nintendo. That's what it is. Just came to me. Feels good. Let's get to work. God, that was gonna bug the shit out of me. I fucking hate these things, bro. Now, let's finish the job. Philly, I did too, man. And I had the OG. I had the gold cart. I got it at a. I got it at a, like a, a consignment, not a consignment shop. Maybe it was a consignment shop. It was like a, a video game store in the town I grew up in, next to a Shaw's. Which it's now a, uh, it's now it's a Mexican joint. It's called Mijalisco. Great food. Great food. Nice. That went great. So wait a minute. Oh, do I have to kill this thing first? You just go, no, I'm not going to break it. Enemies inbound. Moving to dispatch. Time's up. Accelerate. One, two, two, three, three. Lift off. Here it goes. When in doubt, let's craft it out, dude. Philly, you know what? I mean, I'll, I'll find out before I go to bed, but who did uh, who did Mahomes show the touchdown to? I should have asked you that earlier. Oh, to Worthy? All right. Love how they tried to nerf S-Craft spam with the boost system this game, but it just makes you do it more uh, once you figure it out. Yeah, I don't remember, like, it, 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 it almost always comes up in conversation. Somebody on day one, and I don't remember who it was, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's just more for a laugh now after the fact, but they were like, they actually discourage you from S-Craft spamming in this game. And, like, the more as we started playing, it's like, dude, like, you just S-Craft spam up the wazoo. Stay sharp. Think Got a mob nearby. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. get to work. Think back. We're down. Now, let's finish the job. Go in. Don't leave anything standing. I'll round them up. Please. Give me power. Yeah. You're finished. Take me. I had one night randomly before our break where I was just like, I don't think I'm gonna S-Craft spam all the time. And I think that lasted all of like five minutes. And I was like, nah, I wasn't in the right headspace. We're gonna keep S-Craft spamming, no problem. <laughs> nah, no biggie. Yeah, Phil was just like, yeah, just start off battles with, like, no CP and, like, earn it in the battle. And I was like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And then I just am almost immediately abandoned that. I was like, nah, never mind. I was like, let's not do that. 
Now that I think about it, that was a horrible idea. Yeah, what a way to open a stream. Yeah, I'm not going to S-Craft spam. You're right, bro. <laughs> Everybody looking at me like, yeah, bullshit, chief. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, young, it's super good, dude. Um Yeah, no, we can go across the way now. An enemy mob. Wanna clear him out? Ten minutes of midnight. Too bad it wasn't two minutes to midnight. Give you my best Bruce Dickinson impersonation. Sing some maiden. Um, maybe we'll just I don't know unlock the next area and then go from there. Or like or like wrap up there. I guess I should say. Yeah, beat the boss here and rap is good. Okay, cool. This will hurt. The next band. I'll dice you up. Hit him fast, Barry. Barry now. There's gotta be a blade. Slice him up. The miss feels bad. No way. So good. Nice. Moving on up. To the east side. To a deluxe apartment in the sky. Is that the lyrics? I think it is. Um Oh no, I was already fully healed. Shame on me. My move now. Zypha activate. Yeah. Payback time. Do your worst. Now we can get a move on. It's all Giacomo, isn't it? He's still alive, that crazy bastard. Looks like the gang's all here.
Is it really Philly? Bro, imagine. Imagine KC loses opening night. There they are. Along with the demon sphere, just like the one in Old Town. <sighs> I'm so sick of this shit right now. Keep a cool head, Wei. These may be a challenge, but they're a challenge we can handle. Went down to the last play, looked like a TD for the Ravens, but the wide receiver had his toe on the line. Oh. Wowzers. You intend to let all you've learned under Van go to waste. I don't need you to tell me that, desk jockey. <laughs> Aaron, Brene! Van, small fry! I'm so glad we made it in time! I suspected you would show up about now, but I didn't think you would have the guild's rising star with you. Good to see you again. Well, I could have taken out these things just fine without you guys. But I'm gonna hurl if I see them for another minute. So let's just get this over with. <laughs> Simple thanks would have just done the job fine. Forward, everyone. Let's make this quick. Give me your worst. Hell yeah. This is your chance for a shard boost. Alright, take it easy, alright? You'll all feel the pain. Going all in. Activating drive. <laughs> Payback time. Jeez, man, for real? Cyber activate. No problem. Cyber activate. <laughs> Um, Curie Bomb. You got this. There. Here goes. I'll crush them all at once. Blink and you'll miss it. Sword for me. Traded fee for fee. Eh. Older fee for younger fee. Here goes. I'll crush them all at once. Hell yeah. Keep going. Both in your court, Beatrice? I do too. Lots and lots of love. Hey, Stream Elements does exactly what it's supposed to do. Faux show. You love trails? You got some great trail shirts. <laughs> What'd you expect? No more barrier. The mists are clearing. They must have done it. What a relief. One more nut busted. <laughs> Whew, that takes care of that. Looks like we've severed the connection between the sphere and the devils. Almost as if they're sub-devices to whatever is causing this event. You might be on right on the money with that comp uh, that comparison. Huh? Well, looks like that was a close call, but I'm glad we managed to turn it around. As your chief, I'll give you a pat on the back this time. <sighs> uh, screw you. Saying that kind of crap is why I call you old. <laughs> uh, what's so old about that? Anyway. 
After that creepy ass call and all that's happened since, we know what we've got to be doing. So quit it with the big talk and just be happy you've got me on the team again. I am! Because I've got the strength of a hundred decrepit farts like you. <laughs> you little punk. <laughs> Things just aren't the same without the errand we know and love. All right then. Let's get back to the cafe and bar for now. They return to the cafe and bar to both report back to Bravati and to discuss their next move. I'm so glad you're all right, Aaron. If we'd lost you too, huh? There ain't anything in the world strong enough to take me out. Glad you're doing good too, man. I bet you are. You completely lost it when Sid was hurt. <laughs> yeah, the old prodigy of Longport hasn't changed a bit. Uh, whatever. Knock it off with that shit. <laughs> I'm glad you were all able to meet again either way. Same here. We'd better get going, though. We still have other places we need to check out. The area around Central Station is the only district in this part of town that we haven't visited yet. Reset was in charge of that area. I'm sure she's fine, though. I don't doubt it for a moment. Yeah, that chick's tough as a tank. Hmm. In that case, allow me to accompany you for a while. I want to access the situation in the city's, uh, in the city's other districts as well. Or assess, not access. I'm dumb. That's a shame. I was rather hoping you'd stay. Especially since the other two wasted no time in leaving. I will arrange for this area to be protected as soon as I can establish contact with those who can provide it. Though I suspect Marduk was already set, has already set the wheels in motion on that front. Wouldn't be surprised, that chief of security never misses a beat. No kidding, I really, uh, I really wonder just how much he's been preparing for this. Well, things are still pretty tense, but maybe there's finally a ray of hope shining through. I think you got enough of a team if you've got Mr. CID with you, so I'll go investigate something uh, somewhere else. Makes sense. You're part of the guild, after all. Appreciate your help, though. If we learn anything, we'll be sure to let you know. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, same to you. As soon as I find Elaine, I'll be sure to let her know that you're all right. Thanks. <laughs> I saw some talk about Sid being a CID agent undercover. Hmm. That'd be pretty cool. Gang's all here. Rock and roll. All right. So yeah, we'll save up and this is the inevitable wrap up, which means we will, uh, we will pick things up tomorrow morning. Lower D, second slot. I got you, dog. Beatrice, have a good night, bud. All right, let's see, um, see who's on currently. Holy smokes, third and fourth slots? You guys are savages. All right, hang on. Third. Fourth. Thank you, D. Thank you, Grumpy. Let the chaos ensue. Um, <sighs> Sky, you too. <laughs> Hell yeah, enjoy daybreak too, dude. Um, 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 um. Uh, that random one in the middle, I think we were going to use that for save scumming the bonding events, D. <laughs> I know, it's like, it's the odd duck. Like, what the hell is that thing just doing there? Um, well, let's go see Feb. We'll go see the homie February night four, man. If you guys love trails, more importantly, or for the last handful of months, if you love Fire Emblem, you will vibe like a mofo with Feb, for sure. 
He has been on a Fire Emblem uh, tandem without fail. Completely hooked. I would 100% be careful. They're talking about Kai stuff. I will raid and run that. So please give him all my love, would you? I'll raid and run. That's it. All right. Hey, everybody. Have a great night, morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you. Much love. And uh, maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Maybe we'll see you sometime soon. But stay happy, stay healthy, stay excellent. Bye, guys.